मैं क, बहुत कतई आवारा किस्म का बच्चा था तो ये ये छिछोरे बने की हरकत देते तो मेरे सारे दोस्त ऐसे ही थे सो हैव टू थ्री फ्रेंड्स लाइक दिस कतई जलील गिरे हुए और कहीं ले जाने लायक नहीं है शी रिटायर्ड वेन हर सैलरी वॉज सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड मेरा सिगरेट का कार्टन तीन हजार आठ सौ पचास का आता है दिस वॉच इज अ सोलर वॉच तो बारिश हो रही थी ऐसे कि अगर मुझे घड़ी पहननी है तो इस पर अब सूरज की रोशनी कैसे जाएगी चार्ज होना है क्या थ्री थर्टी मिनट्स आई गूगल हाउ टू चार्ज अ सोलर वॉच विदाउट सन हाउ एम टी इज माई लाइफ कितना खाली आदमी हूँ मैं ये आई लव टू ड्रीम I am one of those guys जो बचपन में ना मिथुन बनना चाहता था बड़ा होकर टेट टॉक देता हूँ Joining me today on my show is a very dear friend. I have been privy to his journey and he has been privy to mine. We have had some of the most sincere most uh, honest most amazing conversations and um, he is somebody whose journey has been truly inspiring not just for me but for everybody he has been a successful comedian for the last decade or even more he is a film actor he uh, writes scripts and also he's a fitness enthusiast and he's of course much more than this and he will tell you more about his story so let's welcome in my today's episode jiveshu aluwalia thanks shubha Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for having me over. It's such a pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure to see you again. Absolutely, and you know we've had this uh, video calling conversation yes. so many times yes. during the lockdown. That yes. This feels kind of, of course, good. Yeah. It feels awkward also, you know. Ha, <laughs> because I think we've not met physically too many times. But yes. Uh, I mean, of course, there of was calls. a lockdown yeah. uh, for the last two, two and a half years, hmm. and of course, you are a very busy man. Yeah, yeah. I could see like Shobha here. I can see you have pictures that you were like uh, nine years ago, Switzerland. My nine years ago, I was in Meerut. That <laughs> Come is how on, busy man. Yeah, true. sure, sure. That's not true for sure, but yeah, thank you for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jivesh, tell us uh, about your early days. You know how you were as a young boy. Were you this confident, witty, bossy? boy that you now exhibit as your prime qualities so i wasn't the confident guy i think my defense mechanism largely was to not get bullied and uh, what happens is when you growing up i don't think so and i'm a 1977 born so i'm not the millennial age where bullying and being bullied is a term that one sort of recognizes and you know sort of is aware of when i was growing up Ugh, nobody, nobody cared if you were being bullied. Uh, colony के भैया हाँ, वो आके हड़काना एक साइड में करना ये सब होता था. But I think uh, the few reasons that I wasn't confident because I was always a short kid. I'm five four, and I was always the plump kid, fat. Um, and to be bossy and to be sort of confident and being on the verge of bullying others. you need to be physically that intimidating and i was never that um i was always the guy who will be picked upon but i'll get my way out of it so i became smarter like mai chalak ban gaya tha um jaise um how do i tell you like for example if cricket team mein log uh, players chun rahe to mere ko nahi chunte the because being a fat guy i couldn't bowl dur se bhagte hue matlab mai do do ball pe fekunga teesre ball mein mere teesre ball mein mere haath saans nikal rahi hogi so uh, I decided कि मैं बॉल खरीद के रखनी शुरू कर देता हूँ अगर बॉल मेरे पास होगी तो मुझे तो टीम में तो पिक करना ही पड़ेगा ना क्योंकि वहाँ टीम में तीन प्लेयर्स की जगह पक्की होती है जिसके पास बैट होता है जिसके पास बॉल होती है जिसके पास विकेट्स होती हैं तो तीन में से कोई एक चीज़ सबसे सस्ती बॉल होती है तो आई वॉज द स्मार्टर किड सॉट ऑफ दिस इज वेरी स्मार्ट मैंने कभी ऐसा सोचा ही नहीं बट ये वही ना जिसकी प्रॉब्लम होती है वही सोल्यूशन निकालता है शायद सोल्यूशन तो पता नहीं हाँ बट दिस वर्क फॉर मी दिस वर्क फॉर यू दिस वर्क फॉर मी हाँ सो आई वॉज ऑलवेज दैट सो आई एम स्टिल नॉट अ बुलिंग आई आई एम ऑलवेज वेरी नाइस आई मे कम अक्रॉस इज बुलिंग बिकॉज द वे आई लुक I get I like for example I don't drink alcohol but I will still get stopped रात को ग्यारह बजे बिकॉज मेरी शक्ल ऐसी जो आदमी शराब पीता होगा या जो ड्रग्स करता होगा आई डोंट डू ड्रग्स बट दैट इज वॉट माई फेस इज और मे बी माई लुक्स आर सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक टैट उड़ गया लाइक गोवा का एयरपोर्ट में जब भी उड़ता हूँ दे चेक मी ऑल ओवर अगेन कि कुछ तो होगा इसके पास एंड कभी नहीं होता बिकॉज आई डोंट डू इट 
कॉमेडी में अगर कोई मेरे पास आता है कि मेरे को एक मौका चाहिए ओपन करने के लिए या एक अपॉर्चुनिटी चाहिए हाउ टू टेल लाइक टेल मी वे डू आई गो सो आई टेल डू गो एंड हाउ डू दे डू इट so i completely agree with that because i think i have personally asked for your advice at so many uh, god occasions. help you with those advices what did i give you <laughs> no i have <laughs> i have you know that and you have given me some of the most sensible yeah. some of the most practical pragmatic advice and i must thank advice you advice is a very nice to give no because it is an experience that you count on others to have them experiment ah, because right. you don't have to go <laughs> you are it. a chalak aadmi for sure <laughs> तो जब आप इतने चालाक होते हो व्हेन यू आर अ स्मार्ट पर्सन डू यू आल्सो एंड अप मेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ फ्रेंड्स और आई यू अलोन सो आई हाउ डू आई टेल सो व्हेन आई वाज ग्रोइंग अप आई वाज फ्रेंड्स विद अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु वर सिमिलर व्हेन आई से सिमिलर दे आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट फाइनेंशियल बैकग्राउंड सिमिलर एजुकेशनल बैकग्राउंड सिमिलर जैसे मैं सरकारी स्कूल से पढ़ा हूं तो मेरे दो सरकारी स्कूल में पढ़ते थे प्राइवेट स्कूल वाले नहीं होंगे बिकॉज आई वॉज वॉल इज वन ऑफ दोज गाइज जो अगर जैसे कॉलोनी में गए इफ आई वॉज योर फ्रेंड मैं आपके घर पर नॉक कर रहा हूँ कि यू नो शोभा को भेज दो एंड वो माँ बाप बोलते शोभा नहीं है बेटा घर पर एंड शोभा खिड़की पर खड़ी होती थी आई वॉज ऑलवेज वन ऑफ दोज गाइज हु विल नॉट हैव पेरेंट्स अलाउ अदर किड्स और देयर किड्स टू रोम अबाउट बिकॉज माई मदर वॉज वर्किंग मैं बहुत कतई आवारा किस्म का बच्चा था आवारा एज एन मैं दो बजे स्कूल से वापस आता तो सवा दो बजे बैग रख के नीचे धूप में भटक रहे मतलब गंदे कुछड़े मैले गंदे कपड़ों में धूप में भटक रहे बिकॉज हमारे माँ बाप कंट्रोल करने के लिए नहीं है ना कि दोपहर को सो जाओ शाम को पढ़ना है कुछ जीरो जीरो एंड आई आई हैव अंगर ब्रदर पाँच साल छोटा था तो uh, एक लेवल पे आके आप एक बॉलिंग कर सकता है और एक बैटिंग कर सकता है या हम uh, दूसरों के घर चले जाते थे जैसे दोपहर में मेरे घर में कूलर या फ्रिज नहीं था जब मैं बड़ा हो रहा था तो हम लोगों ने नॉक करते थे कि अंकल आपके यहाँ कूलर चल रहा है हम बैठ जाएँ थोड़ी देर और फिर हम बैठ गए हमारे पास टी नहीं होता था हम टी देखते थे कुछ लोग बहुत अच्छे होते तो बुला लेते थे सो so, दोस्त के मामले में मेरे सारे दोस्त वैसे ही थे uh, जैसे जन्माष्टमी में हम चंदा मांग के लोगों को पर्चियाँ काट देते थे और कभी झांकी नहीं बनाई <laughs> उस पैसों से मैं जाके चाउमिन खा लेता था क्योंकि और फिर हम किसी की भी झांकी आगे जाकर खड़ा हो जाते थे कि फिर आते थे अंकल जैसे कॉलोनी में कि बेटा तुमने पैसा लिया तो अंकल झूला <laughs> अंकल झूला जलाते थे फिर दूसरे जाके दूसरी झांकी पर खड़ा हो जाता था मैं तो मैं स्मार्ट होता था मैं चलाक बनता जा रहा था और ये नहीं कि बहुत ज़्यादा धांधलेबाजी मतलब तीस पैंतीस रुपए इकट्ठे हो गए हाफ प्लेट चिकन चाउमीन आ गए एक बंटे की बोतल ओए हो जिंदगी मतलब सॉर्टेड थी मेरी तो मतलब मतलब छोटे ही सपने थे और हाँ, वीडियो गेम एक रुपए का सिक्का किस्मत ऐसी जैसे सिक्का डालो लाइट चली जाएगी हाँ हमारे टाइम की ये हाँ। बड़ी अच्छी फनी चीज होती थी ना एक वीडियो गेम एक रुपए का सिक्का डालो और पता नहीं कितने दस मिनट या पांच मिनट कुछ खेल मैं लोगों के घर जाता था उनके ना फ्रिज के कपड़े के नीचे सिक्के होते थे मैं वो चुरा के ले आता था ये ये छोरे बने की हरकत थी तो मेरे सारे दोस्त ऐसे ही थे एक रुपया चुरा लिया घर से किसी की जैसे ग्रीटिंग हम अब वेन यू पुअर ग्रोइंग अप नो बडी सेंड यू ग्रीटिंग कार्ड्स मुझे बहुत शौक था तो मैं लोगों की लेटर बॉक्स से ग्रीटिंग कार्ड उठा उठा के ले आता था उन बेचारों को तो मिलते ही नहीं थे और उसमें नाम काट के अपना नाम लिख के ना अपने घर पर दीवार पर चिपका लेता था तो is, मतलब ऐसा ऐसा कोई बच्चा क्यों करता है वो यू मिसिंग लव इन योर लाइफ नो यू मिसिंग शुभ होता है कि अभी मुझे ऐसा लगता है मिसिंग लव आई वॉज डूइंग इट बिकॉज मेरे दोस्त ये कर रहे थे I was I think 16 when जब मैं कॉमिक्स की लाइब्रेरी खोली थी पचास पैसे की पतली वाली एक रुपए की डाइजेस्ट मैं किराया भी देता था तो आई डोंट थिंक सो डिस इज नॉर्मल मेरे सारे दोस्त वही कर रहे थे तो वुड आई हैव टू मैनी फ्रेंड्स आंसरिंग योर प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन आई डोंट थिंक सो हैव टू मैनी फ्रेंड्स आई नो अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल मेरे जिगरी दोस्त मेरे ख्याल से दो तीन एंड दे आर पीपल हु आई वुड नॉट स्पीक फॉर मे बी मंथ्स एंड मे बी आई स्पीक टू दैम टेन टाइम्स अ मंथ and we never talk about anything which is sensible hamesha gandi giri hui baatein matlab nihayat hamari ko baatein sun le to hame apne ghar se jaydad se nikalwa de hum to i mean i still remember one of my best friends father passed away he had moved to australia and when he landed i called him i said land karke kehta ha main kaam kar rahi hu yaar duty free se do black label utha liyo uski father ki death hui hai he said yaar duty free se do black label bol mere papa to mar gaye na yaar my god lekin black label ki sasti to wahi milegi na duty free pe एंड इधर हाँ पॉइंट तो है तो ही विल ऑल्सो अग्री विद इट फिर हम वही दो हम दोनों बैठ के फिर वही शराब पी रहे हैं उसके बाद वर्ल्ड वियर फ्रेंड बट दी फ्रेंड्स आई वुड नेवर एक्सचेंज एनी थिंग फॉर सो आई हैव टू थ्री फ्रेंड्स लाइक दिस कतई जलील गिरे हुए और 
कहीं ले जाने लायक नहीं है फीडबैक फॉर मी दे हैव सिमिलर फीडबैक फॉर मी कहीं ले जाने लायक नहीं है बहुत ही गिरा हुआ है आदमी और बहुत ही जलील है सो आई लव दम दीज आर दॉप थ्री क्वालिटीज मेरे लिए जिंदगी में बेस्ट फ्रेंड्स के लिए गिरे हुए होना जरूरी है और जलालत होनी चाहिए आपकी जिंदगी में और आप नहायत ही वाहियात इंसान होने चाहिए तो वी जेल मैं बहुत मुझे बहुत प्यार आता हूँ नाउ आई एम जस्ट थिंकिंग दैट यू नो इन योर इंट्रोडक्शन आई सेड दैट वी आर वेरी क्लोज एंड डायरी वॉट इज दैट बिल्कुल भी क्लोज नहीं होना चाहिए इसके साथ Nice. Yeah, right. So, uh, Jivishu, um, you know, you said that growing up, money was a crunch. Of course, yeah. you were brought yeah. up by a single mother, yeah. two young kids, yeah. faring for their education and the household. Everything. You know, it's a classic lower middle class family Correct. problem. Correct. So, when you grow in such a family, yeah. uh, you know, you have a drive to be independent. You want to earn a lot of money, mm. and I'm sure you also have done a lot of mm. odd jobs. Yeah. Even I have done. Correct. You know, anything to everything that would make me earn some money Correct. for the day, I would do it. Correct. so from the age of 16 even i started working right. and you've had a similar journey right. so when you have that kind of a journey and when you have that kind of a childhood mm. there's a certain relationship with money that yep. gets established yep. so what has it been for you over the years and has it now changed now that you have achieved so much you have you know um, earned so much mm. you have sort of created that yeah. what we say security for Correct. yourself in terms of assets and other things Correct. so how's the relationship with money now and how was it let's say 10 years ago so i'll just change one bit of it i never had the drive for it it was forced upon uh bahut log usko drive samajhte hain lekin mere khayal se majboori thi meri um money was very important and i had started doing things which like jaise comic library khol li ya logon ke ghar gaye dost ke ghar gaye uske fridge ke kapde ke niche wo sikke rakhe hote the regulator ke paas purane time ke fridge mein regulator aata tha uh, and bahut hi sahi hote the bahut hi और वो हर किसी के में कॉमन फीचर होता था तो मैं वहाँ से वो सिक्के निकाल के ले आता था कभी एक रुपए का कभी पचास पैसे का उसमें या तो स्टिकर खरीद लिया और दुख होता था जैसे लोगों के रिश्तेदार रहते हैं अमेरिका में मेरा रिश्तेदार कोई मेरठ में भी नहीं रहता था लोगों के रिश्तेदार आर्म फोर्स में होते मेरा कोई होम गार्ड में भी नहीं था तो आई वॉज लाइक डिप्लीटेड फ्रॉम ऑल एंगल्स बट द गुड पार्ट इज दैट आई नेवर फेल्ट द मिस ऑफ इट बिकॉज आई नेवर हैड द रिचनेस टू कंपेयर इट विद सो मनी वॉज इम्पॉर्टेंट and it wasn't a drive it was survival it was sort of forced upon and that is what i did so i kept forcing myself to earn and i think that day i quit my job and i started making money uh, the relationship has changed to a large extent um uh, i my main motto in working from any project is money i've always said that um and if you give me money i will probably do anything which is legal is bound um for example i would say yes to a lot of projects that i don't know anything about but i will make an effort to learn and then prepare and then excel in it give them a good product right like i will not say no ki yaar nahi kar sakte because meko aata nahi hai so money wise i i try to get as much as i can and security wise yes i started making financial viable investments and um decisions which lead to keeping one goal in mind that my mother should not be without a house that was the biggest draw because she lost everything when my father passed away and uh, i that is not going to happen ever ever so what i learned was that i still respect a lot of money but i am also have i've i've started i think probably holding on lesser to it than i was doing it earlier so but that doesn't take away the gravity that i would want as much as i want and not as much as i need the want is higher right. and the need is probably less so money could be a big motivator for you to get out of your comfort zone try Biggest new things biggest motivator yeah. right and you have tried many yeah. things you've tried script writing yeah, you've yeah. tried acting yeah. and yeah. not just tried you've excelled in all of those hopefully but yeah no I'm, but of course you have yeah. uh so jiveshu uh what i'm basically wanting to ask you uh, with this question is that so my relationship with money was uh, to a very large part of my career uh, up until let's say 3 4 years ago was that i never enjoyed any money that mm. i made you know i made some mm. and um, i bought my first house at 21 second mm. at 22 and all of that you mm. know uh was working very hard and all of that but mm. i never enjoyed the money you know yeah. i never lived 
that mm. money um, as in to buy a phone of my choice mm. or clothing of my mm. choice otherwise other than mm. my events mm. and work mm. or to hang out with my friends Correct. go watch out a movie Correct. splurge it on a vacation things mm. like that mm. i didn't do any of that mm. so did you enjoy your money while making it or were you just constantly saving it because you had grown up with a lot of insecurities about money and seen so less so you just wanted to figure it out all first before really enjoying it so i did the same thing like you were doing never enjoyed it never did but i think i started doing it about 5 years ago uh when i bought my house for my mother um the first one year i think uh, out of 365 days i was out for 312 because i took a massive loan to buy a big ass house and i paid off in one year that was the biggest thing to do ki mai kuch bhi karke paisa chuka dunga ek saal mein it was a 20 year loan so i did that and for that after that i i splurged i went all out i changed my phone after i think every 8 months uh because i think every september i change my phone because the new iphone comes out jaise hi naya announce hua waise hi yeah, yeah. i'll buy it and people ask me uh, why do you buy it because i because i can it's a very insensible very sort of pompous way of saying it but i've seen days when i had no phone mere ghar mein landline nahi tha so when i can i will buy a new phone i'm sorry i buy a watch every year on my birthday every year and i the only thing as i exceed my last year's budget to this year i always do that um the cost of the watch i wear now is probably a monthly salary at certain point in time um i take vacations i take vacations which are comfort which means i will fly business class i will stay in a five star and uh, i will eat the most exotic food um has that happened too many times no in 5 years five phones because every year there is a new iphone um i bought a big ass tv for my house and then i put another big ass tv in the other room because dono room mein hone chahiye ki bhai jahan baithega wahan bade tv mein dekhega ha maine aapke ghar ka jo virtual tour liya hai phone pe i have seen your lounge area yeah it's a stupid thing Uh, it's just ridiculous how big a house you really yeah, have now and aapke ghar ke andar ped hai matlab ye to had hai mere ghar mein papita ka bhi ped hai ghar ke andar ped hai matlab and we are talking about gurgaon delhi yeah, which yeah. is which is very prime on property yeah, rates yeah, yeah. so uh, it's crazy you must yeah. be so proud of your achievement no i'm not that is one thing that i never got so for me the sense of pride comes by buying a lot of stuff which is a very instant gratification wala people go for alcohol which is instant gra- instant gratification people eat food people shop for me the instant gratification is there like 5 10 minutes but then it is never long lasting so that was my last point so i enjoy probably that 10 15 minutes or when the package comes yeah mai kuch jaake dukaan mein khareed liya uh but it doesn't it's not long lasting so i'm probably still working progress to enjoy it i don't know how to enjoy it but at some point i would will would you call yourself materialistic very materialistic i'm very shallow i'm extremely shallow i work for a bigger car bigger watch bigger house bigger phone um bigger expensive shoes expensive clothing um yes that pushes me yes i'm very materialistic and proudly so because if i don't think of myself that i deserve all of this nobody else will But like you said that it gives you that 15 minutes yeah, of a does. high or kick Correct. and after then Correct. it's just a part of your Correct. life it just gets monotonous. Correct. So what do you do after that 15 minute time space? Uh, Correct. You, you just look back and those 15 minutes probably last for maybe 15 more minutes. Uh instead of having nothing for 24 hours, 15 minutes out of 24 hours is good. Um I remember uh, I think I bought a watch which was very expensive and I wore it and i had no idea like my usko and i'm very careful about the stuff i buy right i'll keep my shoes very clean i'll keep my clothes very clean i will not let any debris touch oh, yes, it oh yes i have seen your shoe robe and my god yeah. so i will keep it very robe. very clean i will keep my watches very clean i'll keep my phone very clean i will so i cherish it and that is where that 15 minutes i'll keep going back जैसे मैंने को वो घड़ी दोबारा पहने या जूते दोबारा पहने या मैंने कपड़े दोबारा पहने मुझे अच्छा लगता है कि मैंने वो पहना है बट लेकिन लॉन्ग लास्टिंग है नहीं सब क्रिएट कर पाते हो इससे नहीं नहीं होता बट दैट इज व्हाई वो मटेरियलिस्टिक चीजों में घर भी एक था ना वो बड़ी गाड़ी भी थी नहीं आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट मटेरियलिस्टिक चीज इज जरूरी नहीं है ऑफ कोर्स देयर आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ आई एम फॉर मी इट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी इट इज वे I don't I honestly don't give a shit what people say ki zindagi mein wo cheeze nahi matter karti ki aapne kaise zindagi jiya ye kya khaya bilkul karta hai mere ko bada karta hai I'm sorry 
if i die today i at least die a guy, guy who died with owning a merc sorry i'm happy with it mm-hmm. it's a very materialistic thing i know it's a very stupid thing maybe to say i'm not saying that it is right it works for me because when i was taking dtc ki bus then nobody sought it right nobody saw, thought that i deserve better and neither did i but i'm happy that i did so my mother keeps doing this ki hey bhagwan phir jute le aaya jute ki dukan kholni humne uh why to go to looks 250 rupaye ka shave kyun uh ya 500 rupaye ka hair cut kyun aap 15 rupaye ka shave kara lijiye why why the l'oreal's and why the uh what is kerastase jo bhi aata why the cafe coffee den why the starbucks ghar pe baith ke banao cold coffee ek din chalti hai char saal mat pehno dusra joda bakwas karne ke liye duniya aati hai main dusra joda isliye leta hu because meri auqat hai lene ki us auqat ke liye main kaam karta hu i push myself so i like it so i love it you... probably i may not come to terms with enjoying it but this for me currently this is enjoyment but do you think when you uh, say things like these mm-hmm. are you being too hard on yourselves uh, does this push comes as uh, something which is like you know uh, which is not coming from a place where you are being gentle and yet aspiring for something but you're being we gentle really? for ourselves we never are we Uh, if I was gentle, um, so let me put it this way: there are but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine people here. Ten. Ten. Right. What have I done better in my life to drive a big ass car or stay in a big ass house? And none of these guys have done it. I'm not saying these guys don't have it, but what have they not done? What has the security guard outside McDonald's not done? We were at the right time at the right place. I have seen enough people. My mother is a true example. She was at the wrong place at the wrong time all the time. all the time has she worked harder than i have yes in this lifetime yes did she get everything no she retired when her salary was 1600 mera cigarette ka carton 3850 ka aata hai it is embarrassing how low that money is and am i being gentle about it i can't be because that is not one thing i've learned life was never gentle i have seen my mother i still remember i was in crutch one day and ko uh, delhi mein band ban tha and my mother was coming back and she came back to the crutch with all bloodied like pura haath vaath sab chhila hua paon chhila hua i think wo auto mein kahin saadi wadi atak gayi thi and wo ghisatti hui chali gayi thi sir wo aurat first aid ke liye hospital nahi gayi hame lene aayi thi so i will give her that 70 lakh rupee car and i will give her that 6 crore rupee house and i it's okay if i am not gentle about those things to myself i still deliver those things right so yes i'm not gentle yes maybe mm-hmm. and maybe i need to learn it maybe and i've always i think i read this somewhere ki first generation earns money second generation enjoys it and with my life i don't think so i should have a kid ever with this gene pool bhagwan hi malega bachcha kya karega so and i don't think so my kids should enjoy my money because they never worked for it so i think i will enjoy it at some point um how comfortable know. are you sharing your money with people at your home never I don't. Sh- the only person I give money, the only person I give money is my brother, and वो अंधा कुआं है वहाँ जितना डालो उतना वो खत्म है. उसको एक रुपया दो खत्म है, एक लाख दो खत्म है. वो आदमी बिल्कुल ही खत्म है. I think he's the worst financial planner ever, ever. Mm-hmm. And and obviously my mother thinks he's the most sought out and most like reliable kid ever. निहाय थी गधा है. अच्छा तो is this jealousy speaking? Yeah. No, I don't think so. I can be jealous of him because he was six months when my father passed away. I was always the father to him. I think it is more than jealousy it is guilt that I could never be the role model. Look at this. How can I be role model to anything? Like you can't have a bada bhai jiske tattooed hain puri puri arms aur kaan chhede hain divorce hai sharab peeta hai cigarette peeta hai overweight hai kya ye mera role model lagta hai isse to kaale patthar ko pooj le jaake. What is the point? Like that is so ridiculous. I can't be role model. I think it is more than Jealousy is more is guilt that I was never the right brother or no, right father figure. No, but you figure. and your brothers are two very different personalities. Very different. Your brother is that ideal Shravan Kumar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beta. He's he's thin. He's got eight pack abs, no tattoos, no ear piercing, never divorced. No wonder Doesn't you never drink, post a picture of him. Never online. drinks, never smoked in life. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> Exhibit A. Sab kuch That's what I'm saying. Hai. No wonder you never <laughs> yeah post a picture I of him online. I, I want to him. post a picture, and his name is so nice, like Rajat. कितना अच्छा नाम है ना. एक मेरा नाम है आधे टाइम तो एक्सप्लेन करते करते मर जाता है हां मतलब एक्सप्लेन करते करते मर जाता है भाई साहब सब्जी नहीं है लाइक ये जीवांशु तो कुछ भी नहीं होता व्हाट इज दिस सो या सो आई इट्स नेवर जेलसी विद हिम इट इज नेवर जेलसी सो माय ब्रदर एंड माय मदर आई थिंक वी आर सॉरी टू पीपल 
that I hate giving money, but I would not say no to him. My mother is again, like yesterday I bought bread, 500 rupees, 70 rupees. One kilo of milk I bought, 430 rupees. 500 rupees one kilo of milk is paying for me. मतलब तो अभी भी आप यही हिसाब रखते हैं। मैं बिल्कुल हिसाब रखता हूँ। At this point also। See, as I said, I respect money। Yeah, yeah। I'm always in control, always in control, and that is one reason I don't drink. I never want to be out of control. Yeah, with money wise, yeah. So when people ask me a lot of, like a lot of my friends comments like, "Jibeshu, can you give me money?" I said, "Or do I have the money? Yes. Will I give you the money? No, because I I can't ask it back, and you will never give it to me. Then I have to, मतलब तेरे चार टाइम आरना पड़ेगा पैसे लेने के लिए। वो मैं कर नहीं सकता। It's too much. पांच सौ रुपए दे सकता हूँ। उसमें से भी 430 रुपए वापस चाहिए। मेरी माँ के साथ तो कोई नहीं आते। I make a, I have a on my phone, I have a list of every money I spend. Like मैंने अभी भी, जैसे अभी बाहर निकलते हो parking का दूँगा, मैं write 20 rupees parking. I'm not even messing with you, I will write it. Really? Okay, I'm just the worst at this. No, no, no. I'll show. You have to see this. Oh my God. I have no हिसाब of nothing ever. चार But that is how I change. No, I will not die poor. I will not. If I die tonight, I die a very rich man, and so does my mother. Like not die, but she will be a very rich woman. So wow. yeah. So I get my insurance, term insurance, medical, all that. No, I will not make no mistakes my father made. Mm -hmm. no. So is it coming from a place of being scarred with very insecure? Stories? Not scarred, but very insecure. Uh, because when you're a kid, I don't think so. You have a choice, right? No, but you, now you have a choice. Yeah, do that's why I made the be, choices of smart, of getting. Do you call it smartness, or do you, do you call it insecurity of still, you know, keeping a tab on everything? So let me put it this way. Not just letting go because it does consume your energy, right? When you're doing all of this, it takes a mental bandwidth, some space in your mind at least. So let me put it this way. Um, just because I have medical insurance doesn't mean that I drive rashly or I start doing drugs or jump off a building. But I'm just being smart. Let me ask you this question: Can you guarantee you'll get up tomorrow morning? Of course not. No. So, I'm just guaranteeing that money. I'm guaranteeing that livelihood for my mother. I don't want her lifestyle to change. I don't want her to have that change. And now I'm married, so I don't want my wife to change any of it. Mm -hmm. None. So I'm just being, yeah. So insecurity leading to smarter decisions is great. But uh, what are the other forms this insecurity shows up in your life? You know, uh, in your personal space. At your professional space, in your relationships, do you think that it sort of impacts them negatively? Also? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure see, it does. It becomes a part of your personality. Correct. You can't say that I'll be insecure in this manner in this one space, oh. and this other manner it'll work for me. Yeah. I'll make it work. Yeah. It doesn't work like it that, doesn't. right? So, how does it play out at other areas in your life? That I don't get connected to a lot of people. Uh, I think one of my friends told me very clearly, very early on in my life, that you're one guy that I have known who is connected and disconnected at the same time. So, for example, now you being you right now, I will love you with all my heart. But tomorrow, if you cease to exist, I will move on. Like I, I wouldn't even blink twice to live my life every day after that. And that goes for everyone in my life. So I'm equally connected and disconnected. That is a very negative approach. That I don't, I don't give it my all. I always hold some part of me back. I always will. Where But, is it coming from? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I wish I was that smart and educated to figure this out, but I don't know. I always hold some. Like I still remember my wife asked me one day. She said, "Jyoti, you never tell people the hundred percent." I said because they don't want to know. I tell people what they want to hear. So, for example, if I have nine friends, she will know one to four. He will know five to eight. He will know nine to twelve. No one person will know me hundred percent ever, ever. And, and you maintain it consciously very consciously like i still remember my wife, i think one of my one of my friends told me said tu hamesha ek hi cheez batata hai hame jaise uh, ek hi perspective mein i said because i don't care that you know this or not i just don't i know this and that's enough and you're very clear with people also yeah. about it you clearly yeah. communicate that okay this is what i am and this is how it's going to be no, this is I what you get no i don't tell them i don't tell them that ki, this is what you'll get but they know 
<laughs> if they do then good and if they don't then <laughs> it's up to them i don't care yeah right right i honestly don't mm-hmm. i'm a very wow i'm coming across as a very cynical very <laughs> Not cynical. Wild no, no, person, you're, probably. Uh, no, this this show is all about bringing up the conversations. Those are about you, like deep within who is Jiveshu Aluwali as a person. Maybe uh, because you know uh, what I feel, Jiveshu, our outer personalities uh, that we project out mm. consciously. Mm. Uh, people know us from the profession that mm. we are in. People know us for uh, uh, you know who we are as a person, mm. what my nature is, mm. what my day on day mm. uh, activities are, and things like that. But what really goes inside my heart, yeah. who I am as a person, that hardly people know and i think there is a japanese are... saying uh, shobha that we all have three faces so i think especially men one that we show to the world one that we see and one that nobody gets to know i certainly have those three faces what i am in the deep darkest point in my life nobody gets to know what i am to the world that is much different to who i am in person and I think it works that way for me at least. I think it's just not be vulnerable and not being open that you get probably consumed and in that sense I mean hurt or used or dejected or rejected or whatever you may call it. I think that's a very negative connotation to live your life through. And I think people find solace in it and I think I did too and I find that very comforting for me. Yeah. Mhm. So Yeah, I I'm a very restless guy. I'll have like 98 things running in my mind every con every single second. Right. Uh so uh Jivesho you have openly spoken about your battle with depression yeah. and uh being restless, yeah. being somebody who takes a tab of everything, yeah. Yeah. being somebody who is always constantly thinking something, mm. processing mm. something. Mm. Uh do you think that also adds to your emotional state and your mental state? and that transpires into becoming let's say depression for i you. think it does i i'm certain because i think you have only have this much for example if this is your brain matter and you're consuming all of it i still remember yesterday i was sitting with my wife ratko and she said jivishu what are you thinking i said you don't want to know she said no tell me i said piche nibu ke bade mein madhumakhi ka chhatta ban raha hai ego wind chime toot gaye mere ko wo lagwani hai uh mere kuk ka kaan mein dard hai uski dawai karwani hai um and i said three more things ki कुत्तों के लिए कुछ पट्टा लाना था एंड शी लुक डेट कितना ही यूजलेस कॉन्वर्जेशन है दिस इज सो स्टूपेड इसके दिमाग में ये चल रहा है ऐसे जो हाँ ये पच्चीस थॉट चल रहे मेरे दिमाग में लेकिन ये पच्चीस थॉट विल कीप रिप्लेसिंग इट कैन बी थाईलैंड का जो ट्रिप है uh, वहाँ पे जाते हुए मैं एयरपोर्ट से क्या लेना है मेरे दिमाग में अभी से चल रहा होगा वो या वहाँ जाके मेरे को ना एक कुछ खाना है या खरीदना है इज दज दैट आई कीप अ माइंड सो ऑक्यूपाइड दैट आई एम नेवर एट पीस and it does bother me and but do you do something about it i think i need to start doing it i think that is when i started exercising because i was just constantly worked up and constantly angry and uh, i we have had discussions that i wanted to start with yoga and you've been a true motivator for it um for people who don't know shobha's uh, throwback pics are like hi look at me throwback i was 52 my what the hell like my throwback is hi look at me i'm three people um Come on. just embarrassing and uh, then she comes like this is glowing sweat I mean, what the hell is wrong with this woman um so i i don't know what it is because i can't meditate uh, whenever i try to meditate i am 3 second when i'm thinking like sabki aankhi khuli hui hain kya like this is how my meditation is it's just so stupid um i will keep thinking what others are doing ya fir main aankhe khol ke dekh lu unki aankhe khuli hui hain band hain itne इतना छोटा लेवल चल रहा था मेरे दिमाग का टेंशन स्पैन का इज जस्ट नॉट इवन फनी आई थिंक आई स्टार्ट डूइंग योगा एंड वो शवासन होता लास्ट में एवरी टाइम आई दैट मींस यू हैव डन अ गुड वर्कआउट सेशन और मे बी यू जस्ट टू लेजी और मे बी जस्ट आई एम नेवर एट रेस्ट एज एज माय फ्रेंड्स टेल मी आई डोंट गेट टू एंजॉय लाइफ द वे इट इज एंड आई थिंक आई नेवर गेट टू या when they tell me that i don't enjoy life i think yes i don't enjoy life um but does it push you into depression i don't think so that pushes into depression i think that makes it hard if you are already there to get out of it um and depression i think we all have certainly uh, certain setup of things in life that we have 
sort of how do I say challenge to with uh, I think हमारी जिंदगी में दो thoughts हमेशा किसी बार जाते हैं एक ये होता है कि आप जब भी भी building के ऊपर खड़े होते हो कि अगर मैं यहाँ से कूद जाऊँ क्या मैं मर जाऊँगा I think हर किसी के दिमाग में एक thought जाता है मेरे ख्याल से तो जाते हैं मेरे दिमाग में तो बहुत आता था और एक होता है कि हर किसी की जिंदगी में एक thought जरूर आता है कि अगर अगर मैं इसका murder कर दूँ तो क्या ना get away with it um, the difference between two is that we don't act on it at least I didn't um, and that is certainly not an indication of depression depression i think is when you finally you constantly find finally when you constantly find comfort in sad part of life which is already always there right for example uh, in last few weeks i have been disturbed so i will find out sad movies instagram reels mein wo dogs wala the ki wo kisi ki dog ki death ho gayi to usme nikalta hai I know you will go somewhere. उसके मैं देखे I'm just crying. I think you get so much comfort from tearing up and crying that you like that comfort. And uh, since I'm not open to anybody with hundred percent vulnerability, they don't get to see my side. So I will watch movies. Um, movies are big comfort for me. I will watch movies like <laughs> like जो हाँची को देख के मैं जो रोज रो रहा होता हूँ. And if somebody walks into my room like Jivish, what is happening? <laughs> like this is ridiculous. You have seen this movie ten times. I say I know, but I will find that. Um, for example, happiness has never given me tears. That is such a sad thing to say. Like, मुझे कभी खुशी के आंसू नहीं आए. कभी नहीं. कुछ भी achieve किया. Zero, zero. My biggest achievement in my life was when I gifted my mother house. Zero. I still remember uh, आपका पुराना घर होता था गुड़गांव yeah, में yeah. सफेद दीवारें होती थी एक बीच में बेड होता था देर इज टू बी डाइनिंग टेबल हम लोग वीडियो कॉल पे कुछ पता नहीं कितने साल पुरानी बात होगी उस टाइम पे वीडियो कॉल इतनी बड़ी बात सो उस जमाने में कभी कभार वेन वी एट स्पोकन टू यू एंड यू वर ऑलवेज यू नो यू ऑलवेज हैड दिस ड्राइव दट मुझे घर लेना है और मुझे और ऐसा नहीं कि आपने उससे पहले कभी घर लिए नहीं थे घर लिया था मैंने मुझे जैसे अभी आप रिटायर होना है स्वांकी लेना है और मेरे घर में ये भी होना चाहिए वो भी होना चाहिए मेरा ये स्पेस होना चाहिए मेरा ये जोन होना चाहिए और वो बहुत आई एम नॉट हैप्पी विद हाउस आई एम स्टिल नॉट हैप्पी आई स्टिल वॉन्ट अ डिफरेंट थिंग आई थिंक मैथी मकोने का बहुत अच्छा मैंने ऑस्कर स्पीच देखा था जिसमें लिखा था कि you know there's like someone to thankful someone someone to be thankful for someone someone to be thankful to somebody that you love who pushes you and somebody you want to chase like a hero that thing resonates i think for everyone uh, when i bought a house i still remember i called up my best friend usko maine phone kiya kar aur bhai le liya ghar and then it party yes chore dost um and he said now what next and i i think and i told him that one day i said i think i've run out of dreams now i'm done I'm done. बड़ा घर लेना था ले लिया That's it. What next? Now I want to. उसी में कमी ढूंढने शुरू हो गई हाँ मैं उसमें अब कमी ढूंढ रहा You have no idea how much मेरे को ना अब सामने वाला प्लॉट परेशान कर रहा है कि गाड़ी पार्क करते वहाँ मिट्टी भर जाती है मेरी first world problems पे आप आ गए हो Like shitty stuff I'm finding and um, but, I, but but are you a person who by his nature wants to just find something oh yeah to occupy his head with oh and, yeah you know oh yeah yeah constantly Mm-hmm. I'm on it constantly. Like three days before, this watch is a solar watch. So, rain is coming. So, if I wear this watch, how will the sun's light charge on it? Through thirty minutes, I googled how to charge a solar watch without sun. How empty is my life? 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 And then I did find out. पता चल गया हाँ फिर देन मुझे फिर मुझे कहीं पे देखा कि धूप घर में पीछे वाली साइड पे धूप आ रही थी तो मैंने दो गमले लिए बीच में ईटे फंसाई घड़ी रख के आ गया मैं वापस जाऊंगा तो इसको फिर देखेंगे हम क्या होना है इसके साथ I'm 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 constantly doing this constantly मतलब कुछ भी चाहिए मुझे बस मैं किसी एक्टिविटी में इंगेज रहूँ हाँ because I think if I sit idle I think I'm just burst I think yeah so That yeah. brings me to my next question. You mm. know, Jiveshu, uh, I know that you are a loner. You like mm. to be alone, and you don't like mm. to meet out people as mm-hmm. much. But do you enjoy your own company, or you need something to keep you engaged? Then, like a television. Oh, I love my. Something. Oh, but I love my own company. But I, yes, I do need a lot of stuff. Like for example, um, I love sitting out in my lawn or my swing that I have at my house. Uh, I love to dream. 
आई एम वन ऑफ दो गाइज जो बचपन में ना मिथुन बनना चाहता था बड़ों के लाइक like, मैं मुंह से आवाज निकालता था चलते हुए लाइक बिकॉज मिथुन ऐसे जूते पहनता था एंड देन आफ्टर मिथुन जब चला गया थोड़ा सा तो गोविंदा बनना चाहता था सो आई डे ड्रीम अबाउट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टाफ आई डे ड्रीम अबाउट हैविंग लाइक अ एकड़ का घर फार्म हाउस जहाँ पे दो गाय दो तीन भैंसे तीन चार बकरियाँ पाँच छः कुत्ते और जब मेरे कुत्ते वॉक करने जाएं जब मतलब खाना खा के वो हगने जा रहे हैं तो उनको घर के बाहर नहीं जाना ये मतलब इट्स अ ड्रीम राइट एंड आई विल सिट एंड आई विल लिव थ्रू इट आई विल लिव इट सिटिंग देयर सो एम आई कंफर्टेबल मैन ओन स्पेस येस देर आर टाइम्स वेन आई डोंट चेक माई फोन एट ऑल आई विल कीप वॉचिंग मूवीज और रीड अ बुक डू यू रीड या आई डू What kind of genre do you read? Only can kind of only read out autobiography. I can't do fictional. I I've tried. Same Don't... here. I can't do fictions at all. Ah, uh, so I think I'm done with that phase of my life. Oh, I did read college. fiction. I have read. I I did too Haan. in college and things like that. But after that, no. No, no. College, baby, I have not done anything. College. See, when I was growing up, think survival was my massive importance. मतलब उसने book खरीदना तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं होता था। नहीं मेरे लिए book पढ़ना उस time पे बहुत जरूरी इसीलिए था। अमीर लोग। क्योंकि मुझे अपनी language नहीं मुझे सिर्फ अपनी language पे काम करना था। You know? Sure. <laughs> no really because सरकारी school से आप पढ़े होते हो sure. आपने सरकारी स्कूल सरकारी सरकारी स्कूल है प्लीज हमारे सरकारी स्कूल में देख लेना सीआर पार्ट नंबर वन की लड़कियां भाई साहब इतने लंबे लंबे बालों से पाओगे खुद ही अड़ंगी खा के गिर जाती थी अपने बालों में बकवास करवा लो आई स्वेयर ये सरकारी स्कूल किसी कोने से सरकारी स्कूल है प्लीज यार और सरकारी स्कूल वही है आई वाज इन केवी केवी दैट इज केंद्र में दैट इज नॉट सरकारी स्कूल नो सरकारी स्कूल इज मेरे स्कूल का नाम पता क्या है सरकारी स्कूल चिराग मेरा स्कूल का नाम था गवर्नमेंट बॉय सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल चिराग इंग्ले नंबर वन हमारा अलूमिना मिनट नहीं होता क्योंकि उसका कार्ड नहीं बन पाता इतना बड़ा तो देखो आपका आपका जो सरकारी स्कूल था वो दिल्ली सरकार वाला था मेरा सरकारी स्कूल सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट वाला था बकवास लेकिन सरकारी स्कूल था कितनी फीस थी तीन महीने की जब मैंने स्टार्ट किया था पंद्रह रुपए होती थी नौ रुपए बीस पैसे वो भी मुझे बोला क्योंकि तेरा बाप मरा हुआ है एक्सीलेंट मुंह पे बोल देखा तेरा बाप मरा हुआ नौ रुपए बीस पैसे है महीने की फीस पंद्रह रुपए तीन महीने की फीस तुम्हारा सब्सिडाइज था हमारे तो वो थे ना हमारा स्कॉलरशिप नहीं होता वजीफा होता था और प्लीज यार स्कूल में इवनिंग शिफ्ट होती थी स्कूल में इवनिंग शिफ्ट होती थी होती थी तुम्हारे स्कूल में नल का था हमारे स्कूल में पाइप था उसमें पानी गिरता रहता था चुपचाप के बस हाथ लगा पी के चले गए पानी कॉन्स्टेंटली गिर रहा है टट्टी में वही हो रहा है बाहर पीने वाले प्योर में वही हो रहा है जस्ट आ रहा है घंटा आई मीन आई स्टिल शोभा देर वाज वन आई स्वेयर अपॉन गॉड यू हैव टू लिसन टू द स्टोरी आई वाज आई स्टार्टेड डेटिंग देयर वाज दिस ब्यूटीफुल गर्ल आई वाज डेटिंग आई वाज इन आई थिंक अबाउट 27 28 सो दिस गर्ल सेड जी वेशू आई वांट टू शेयर माय लाइफ विद यू नहीं नहीं नॉट अ मैं आई एम नॉट अ गुड आइडिया या लाइक आई सेड नॉट अ गुड आइडिया शी थिंक जी वेशू आई वांट टू शेयर माय लाइफ विद माय नॉट अ गुड आइडिया शी लेट मी शो यू माय स्कूल एंड शी वाज पास्ड आउट फ्रॉम मॉडर्न बाराखंबा वो मुझे लेके कि मॉडर्न बाराखंबा के अंदर आधा कनॉट प्लेस है दे हैव हॉर्स राइडिंग मैंने घोड़े सिर्फ शादियों में देखे थे ये वैष्णो देवी पिट्ठू देखा था मैंने उसके स्कूल के अंदर हॉर्स राइडिंग थी देन शी लाइक लेट मी टेक यू टू द कैफेटेरिया मैं चलो चलो देन शी जिव शो मी योर स्कूल मैं मत कर यार तो मेरे स्कूल लेके गया मैं तो इवनिंग तो जब हम पहुंचे तो मेरे स्कूल के ना मेन गेट लोग दो लड़के ना घसीट के ले जा रहे थे बेचने कबाड़ी वाले को <laughs> क्योंकि महालक्ष्मी लॉटरी मिलती है नेहरू प्लेस में दो रुपए की जिसके आखिरी नंबर का लग जाए ना तो अठारह रुपए मिलते हैं उसके जिवेशू वॉर द डोवन मैं कबाड़ी वाले को बेचने जा रहे हैं मैं बट वाई आर दूंग मैं पागल और अभी थोड़ा कबड़े वाले को बेचने जा रहे हैं लोहे के पैसे मिलते हैं सर बट वाई दिस मैं आस पास के गटर देख ले सबके ढक्कन बेच चुके होंगे अब तक सारे गटर खोले हुए थे शी सर वेर इज अ कैफे ट्राइर मैंने तो बाहर से यू टर्न काट लिया शी सर वी गोइंग आउटसाइड में काली टिक्की वाला बाहर ही बैठता है वो काली इसलिए बिकॉज वो काला था और टिक्की वाला बिकॉज वो टिक्की बेचता था कहती वॉट यू ईट मेरी टिक्की पीस कहती वॉट इज टिक्की पीस मैं दो ब्रेड के बीच में टिक्की शी सर मैं और कुछ शेयर करवाना है शी सर विच कॉलेज में देश बंधु इवनिंग शुड बी गो मैं नहीं भगवान नहीं मी रामलाल आनंद मॉर्निंग गुंडो का स्कूल मेरे स्कूल में ना बड़े बड़े मैसिव लड़के आते थे जांघिए पहन के लंगोट सारा दिन वैसे खड़े रहते थे मतलब मैं मैं जब कॉलेज में घुसा वहां लिखा था देश बंधु इवनिंग वेलकम यू डब्ल्यू एल सी एल एम वेलकम मतलब स्पेलिंग भी गलत है इसकी तो मतलब मैं जब डिग्री लेने गया तब मेरे रैगिंग हो गई थी कॉलेज लाइफ माय फुट बकवास आई लिटरली हैव टीयर्स इन माय आईज लेकिन मैं मैं यू नो लोग कहते हैं कि यू नो आप अभी भी इतनी पढ़ती हो किताबें पढ़ते हो एंड पीपल टेल मी दैट सरकारी स्कूल झूठ है आई स्वीयर आई स्वीयर सरकारी में डाले वाज केंद्र में डाले वाज लाइक दिस
डूट एस्पिरेशन लेवल मेरे स्कूल में जब लोग लड़कों के मैथ्स में आते थे नाइनटी फोर नाइनटी फाइव इंग्लिश में तीन रोते हुए देखे मेरे बड़े बड़े जॉर्डन फिर फेल हो गए हमारे स्कूल में जैसे क्रॉस बने हुए ना फ्लोर के वहां पर नीचे बैठा के ना एग्जाम करवाते थे तो पीछे से मुझे एक आवाज आती है मेरे एक दोस्त की उसका नाम था चौधरी बोबिंदर सिंह वशिष्ठ उसकी बसें चलती थी सो लेट मी गिव यू परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ चौधरी बोबिंदर सिंह वशिष्ठ एक दिन हम इलेवंथ में बैठे थे पीछे से इकोनॉमिक्स का टीचर पढ़ा रहा है पीछे से ऐसे आवाज आ रही है तो टीचर ने देखा कि क्या है ये पीछे चौधरी बोबिंदर सिंह वशिष्ठ अभी खैनी साफ कर रहा था इलेवंथ में ऐसे बैठ रहा था तो हम ऐसे यहाँ बैठे थे मैं अगले वाले स्कोर पर बैठा था पीछे से आवाज आती है भाई बीमारी को इंग्लिश में क्या कहते हैं मैं डिजीज और नॉट डिजीज मुझे तो स्पेलिंग अभी तक नहीं आती कह रहे क्या मैं डिजीज कह रहे क्या है मैं डिजीज कह रहे आसान वाली बता मैं फीवर दिस इज माय स्कूल राइट मेरे स्कूल की बाउंड्री नहीं थी <laughs> क्योंकि लोगों ने तोड़ दी थी <laughs> छेद थे मेरे स्कूल की बाउंड्री में लोग ऐसे आसपास आराम से निकल आते थे बाहर हमारे स्कूल के मेरे जब बोर्ड का रिजल्ट आया था ना तो जीरो अकाउंट्स में ना जीरो सेवन फोर लिखा होता मैं सोच रहा कोड होगा कि मेरे इतने नंबर तो कभी आ ही नहीं सकते मैं सारे साल अकाउंट्स पढ़ता रहा मेरे एक बार बैलेंस शीट कभी बैलेंस नहीं हुए ऐसे और लाइब्रेरीज कभी मैच ही नहीं हुए जब मेरे एग्जाम से मैच हो गए ना तो मेरे को शक हुआ कि मैंने गलत मैच कर दिया है तो जब मेरे नंबर आए ना सेवेंटी नंबर था मेरे को मेरे को लगा भाई इस बार तो मतलब ऐसे कैसे एंड आई स्टिल रिमेंबर मैथ्स में मैं इतना गंदा था इतना गंदा था कि जब उस टाइम पर ना जब एन आई वॉज ग्रोइंग अप इट वॉज दिस फिनोमिना कि हर दस साल में सबसे टफ पेपर आया सबसे टफ पेपर सबसे टफ पेपर हर साल कोई नया नाटक होता था मैथ्स का टफ पेपर ऐसे बनाया है मतलब नासा ने बना के भेजा है और आई एफ ये एफ बी आई वालों ने बना के भेजा काफी उड़ती थी एट आर टाइम्स इट यूज टू बी देर तो और लड़के मैंने रोते हुए निकलते देखे बाहर राइट द ओनली गाई नेवर टू क्राइवस मी मेरे को वैसे ही कुछ नहीं आता था Which was like your favorite subject out of huh. out of all? Moral science. I was physical education. I failed. I was told to run away and touch the wall. I went and touched it. I was standing there. I had to come back. I had to come back. Three numbers came in physical education. In maths, there were four. Twelfth, there was my compartment. I had to give it to the first time. I had to give it to the first time. I had to give it to the second time. When I failed, I had to give it to the second time. I had to give it to the second time. I had to give it to the second time. Forty-three percent was in my college. लाइक मैं फॉर्म मुझे किसी ने बोला एमबीए करना चाहिए तुम्हें और जब आई वाज ग्रोइंग अप देर वाज टू थ्री नए बहुत अच्छे कोर्सेज एक होता था नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सेल्स एनआईएस और एक निफ्ट होता था एक एपटेक का कोर्स होता था एक एनआईटी का कोर्स होता था तो मैं किसी के लायक नहीं था कि एपटेक और एन में पैसे लगते थे बाकी दो के लायक तो था ही नहीं मैं तो किसी ने बोला एम करो एम तो मैं एम का फॉर्म लेने गया मुझे जाके बोला कि यार ये पचपन चाहिए फॉर्म लेने के लिए मैं अब वहाँ जाके मैं टेट टॉक देता हूँ जो भी था तो उस समय में यूनिवर्सिटी आई पी यूनिवर्सिटी का फॉर्म जो है फिल करना होता है एक हजार रुपए का आता था एंड देर अदर फॉर्म ऑल्सो अदर यूनिवर्सिटीज वेर यू कुड अपलाई फॉर दिमिलर कोर्सेज तो मैंने सोचा ही नहीं था तो आई डेंट फिल एनी फॉर्म तो सबकी डेट्स चली गई एक ही आई पी यूनिवर्सिटी का दिस फॉर्म वॉज रिमेनिंग तो मेरी माँ को तब लगा कि हमारी बेटी सिर्फ उन्नीस साल की है एंड आई वॉज सिलेक्टेड और प्लेस्ड इन ग्रेजुएशन आई ऑलवेज बिन दंगेस्ट एंड ऑल ऑफ माई लॉट्स क्लासेस So, 16, I was out of my school. Let's never talk after this conversation. <laughs> like, never tell be me in that. Touch. <laughs> never be in touch. So, uh. yeah. So, my mother was uh, like, "You're only 19, and she will go and live in a different city, do a job. So, just give one entrance exam, and we'll see what happens." Mm. And I said, "Hello, you are asking me to fill only university. Jo bachi hai, that is a private university, mm. and the fee there is like seventy thousand for a year or something mm. like that. And we can't even dream of this mm. uh, fee. Especially <coughs> my brother was also <coughs> clearing his twelfth class at mm. that year. So mm. I said, 'Uske liye bhi to karna hai, bhi tak karna hai, usko jo bhi karna hai.' Mm. So my mother was like, 'Ki uh, nahi, tu form bharte dekha jaega.' Nika, pagal ho gaye okay? Ek hazar rupee, you know, why to waste that money? Because maine koi padhai nahi kiye. Na main kar paungi. My peers who used to take uh, these tuitions what, hmm. the, what do you call them those extra classes Haan. at institutes etc for correct, correct. further studies Haan. Haan. to prepare for main kaha se entrance crack karungi my mother was like you just fill it i said there's only one college that is a government college there which is hmm. the topmost one and uske baad to private colleges hain we don't have money she said you just fill it let's see i filled the form 
and from the day i filled the form till the examination date about a month or so a month month and a mm. half i studied day and night to now get through it ki wo 1000 rupees bas uski matlab ek tarah se laaj rakhni hai something is a very polished family meri mummy mera meri mummy mujhe doctor banana chahti hai unhone 10th ka result dekha ke the beta 12th kar lena unka khatam tha 10th ka result dekhte hi khatam ho gaya ke the beta 12th kar lena please aur jab maine 12th kiya aur unhone bola beta graduation kar lena warna chapdazi hi naukri ke liye bhi graduate chahiye hota hai this is my motivational talk by my mother <laughs> <laughs> मेरे मम्मी और पापा के साथ क्या था ना जिवेशू क्योंकि माय मदर इज फ्रॉम अ विलेज माय मदर एंड फादर बोथ सो माय फादर ओनली डिड हिज ट्वेल्थ क्लास एंड माय मदर इज ओनली स्टडी टिल सेवन एट और उसके बाद माय मदर शिफ्टेड टू अ सिटी शी सॉ द सिटी एट द एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन व्हेन शी ऑलरेडी हैड टू केज एंड थर्ड ऑन द वे तो मेरी माँ को ना कुछ समझ ही नहीं है कि uh, कि ये सब चीजें चलती क्या है दुनिया में True. उनकी ना वो ना वो सोच है ना वो लैंग्वेज है शी इज मोटिवेटेड एंड इंस्पायर टू गिव अस अ गुड लाइफ बट शी डजेंट नो व्हाट दैट इज कि तुम्हें डॉक्टर बनना चाहिए ये सब कॉन्वर्जेशन मेरे घर में कभी नहीं होते थे माय फादर वाज लाइक हाँ सक्सेसफुल बनना है हाँ अभी आजकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्रेंड में है तो ये कर लो बट माई मदर वॉज शी वॉज एलियन टू ऑल ऑफ दिस सो उन्होंने कहा नहीं तो ये फॉर्म भरा और ये जो भी था फॉर्म भरा लेकिन हजार रुपए आई क्लियर इट एंड आई गॉट इन द गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज तो ओनली वन एंड तब उसकी फीस हुआ करती थी बत्तीस हजार रुपए विल नेवर टॉक अबाउट दिस लाइफ एवर अगेन विल नेवर बी इन टच आफ्टर दिस देयर आर सो मेनी स्टोरीज यू नो फाइनेंशियल स्ट्रगल्स की सो आई टोटली रिलेट टू द प्लेस दैट यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम यू नो माय मदर वाज द अल्टीमेट मोटिवेटर एंड यू आर आल्सो द एल्डेस्ट ऑफ द टू ब्रदर्स ऑफ कोर्स या माय मदर लाइक बेटा देखो अगर तुम कुछ कर लोगे तो ठीक है वरना मेरा क्या मैं तो बस उम्र ऐसी काट लूंगी दैट्स द मैं ये पूछा था नाश्ते में क्या मम्मी इसका आंसर ये कैसे हो सकता है माय मदर वाज द अल्टीमेट मोटिवेटर शी स्टिल डस लाइक हर चीज में उनका वही होता है कुछ भी बात करो देख लो तुम बेटा अब अब तुम्हारे मैं अब आज एक शब्द नहीं बोलूंगी और दस सेकंड बाद मैं ये कह रही थी मैं शार्ट अब अभी तो बोला था आपने नहीं बात करोगे यार चपड़ासी को भी ग्रेजुएशन करनी होती है दैट वाज माय लाइन टू स्टडी बट माई ब्रदर वॉज द बेटर वन ही डेट एवरी थिंग वॉज राइट बाई द बुक एम बी ए फ्रॉम यू सी एल एन ऑल माई मदर लाइक एक ये ओला और एक ये But, but she still stays with you, right? Yeah, because my brother is a smarter one. <laughs> stays with me, yes. बड़ी महंगी औरत है. कम बड़ी महंगी औरत. बाप मम्मी तो. सारी औरतें बहुत महंगी. मेरी मम्मी तो अलग लग रही है. अच्छा. She is the simplest and the sweetest. Simplest. नहीं जाने जाने मैं मैं V fast से भिजवा देता हूँ घर बकवास के बाद. क्या क्या complicated है? Name one thing. Like I, परसों वापस आई है वो. तो मैं बोला मम्मी दोपहर को रोटी क्यों ना रहे? राज्यों में सिर्फ दो बोल घिया खाऊंगी मेरा ना वेट बढ़ गया है शाम को ही पराठे खा रही हैं रात को आइसक्रीम खाई है <laughs> मैं ये कैसा वेट लॉस है दोपहर को रोटी नहीं खाई आपने क्योंकि घिया खत्म करना था ना ज्यादा बन गया था तो दो बोल खा लिया हम अभी भी उसी घर में चल रहे उसी में एग्जैक्टली exactly. I know, uh, you know, you when I go out and especially you also when you go out, it's such a stark difference from yeah, the yeah. kind of household that we grow up in and we still are Haan, in. But I, what I do is I, the change I've made is that I bring a lot of stuff from my mother, like pastries and things that I find exotic that she would never go and eat. I bring her all of that, all of that. What is her relationship with money, and does she oh, pick she, on you when she sees yeah, you spending all these things? Yeah, she holds on things? to it. Yeah, and I don't blame her. I don't blame her. The poor woman has seen really bad days. and i think that is what my mother does wrong a little uh she lives in that past past is a great place to visit is a bad place to stay and she lives there she holds on to money like nobody's business ab us din unme ko bola ki raju jis din agar meri death ho gayi like serious conversation ghar ka koi bhi saman mat fekna main kyun mummy ji phir unhone ek rumal khola us andar 100 rupaye the phir unhone takki ke andar har dala us andar 150 rupaye pade the main kya chal raha hai ghar te chori hai फिर अलमारी खोली एक पहला पर्स है उसमें कुछ नहीं फिर एक नीचे एक पर्स है उसमें भी कुछ नहीं फिर नीचे एक और पर्स है उसके अंदर सौ रुपए पड़े मैं यही करता रहा हूँ आपके जाने के बाद पूरे घर के कपड़े निकाल निकाल के जेबों में हाथ डाल डाल के देख रहे कितने पैसे पड़े शी डज दैट एंड आई लव इट लाइक शी विल उनको बहस करने के मजा आता है प्रेस वाले से सब्जी वाले से एंड आई डोंट ब्लेम हर बिकॉज उस औरत ने बहुत बुरे दिन देखे हैं सो आई डोंट ब्लेम हर हर रिलेशनशिप विद मनी इज वेरी वेरी बैड वेरी बैड उनका बस चले तो वो सिक्के अपने ऊपर ऐसे नोट बिछा के सो जाए कि कोई ना लेके जाए बट आई आई थिंक आई रियली विश दैट शी इज इफ शी स्टार्ट इंजॉइंग मनी आई थिंक दैट इज द डे आई विल स्टार्ट इंजॉइंग मनी बिकॉज आई एम ऑल्सो माई मदर राइट आई एम टर्निंग आउट टू बी हर शी इज नेवर इंजॉयड इट एंड आई डोंट थिंक सो आई विल एवर इंजॉय इट लाइक यू वन यूर सेंग दैट वन आई एम लिसनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ दिस यू नो इट टेक्स मी बैक टू माई ओन होम वेर आई फील माई मदर टिल डेट तीनों बच्चे सेटल हैं माई ब्रदर इज इन द यू एस 
almost on the verge of buying a house for himself. Mm. Mm. My other brother doing pretty well for himself, mm. a very mm. successful engineer. Correct. I've done reasonably okay for myself. Mm. Okay. Sure. <laughs> sure. But my mother till date, mm. we do not have a house help of mm. any kind. Yeah. She does everything from mm. mopping, cleaning, everything. She says, mm. no, I'm okay, my body will be fine. And such a humble person she is because of the circumstances. So yeah. even if there is a lot of money, yeah. uh, I'm not saying there's like a lot of money, but mm. there is. Yeah. But she just cannot partake in it yeah. in any form. Yeah. Same. Like if you take her out for shopping and you're showing her the expensive and nice and whatever, she's like, she'll pick up the... My mom is urban plan follows the best. She's written in the fixed rate. Like if you have to buy your eyebrows, she's written in 80 rupees. She's like, take 50 rupees. She's like, take 30 rupees. She's like, auntie, she's written in it. She's like, don't worry about it. 22 years ago, I had 10 rupees. She's like, 22 years ago, she's not here. But okay, I think I can, I can't enjoy money because she doesn't enjoy money. I think I, and you like it or you don't like it, you will end up becoming your parents. And I will I become my I mother. I think that is so true at so many levels because yeah. uh, even I didn't enjoy anything that I was yeah. making. You, know, you can call it humble, life, you can call life. it workaholic, you can call it whatever you want to call it. No, it's but you know, Jiveshu, um, you're right that you become your parents, but yeah. somewhere you have to then make a very conscious choice to not yeah. be that person. Yeah. Because obviously that is going to be your inherent nature because that is yeah. what you've grown up with. Yeah. So that is where I think a lot of self-work has helped me over the last three, four, five years. Hmm. I have started coming to a space where I really am living in the present. Yeah, because not everything about everyone is is a positive or a motivational thing. Of course. There are some people you would find that you don't want to do Some people act as a warning sign also, right? So there are a lot of habits that I want to inculcate from my mother. But there are certain things that I don't want to, which is fine. Yeah. So right. we do have arguments over those things, mm -hmm. um, but it is what it is. See, your mother has played a very pivotal role in your life yes. in every possible way. Yes. And yes. you want to give her all the happiness. Yes. You pamper her, yeah. you treat her like a queen yeah. Yeah. and all of that. But what about the tough days when you are on your bad day? How do you... You mean a Monday? <laughs> <laughs> we are, so my mother and I fight a lot because we are also very similar. Um, and she knows how to get onto my nerves and I know how to get onto her nerves, right? Um, so, when the bad days are there, I think that is why I sort of put myself down that I'm not the right son because I say or act in ways that I'm not very proud of, right? And we all have, we all have answered our parents back, we all have thrown tantrums, we all have shown you anger. You still do that? Yeah, 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 yeah. massively. Um, and, and your mother, she also has the oh same yeah, space yeah, yeah. where she, she can be like oh anything yeah, yeah. with you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not going to be able to do it. But I think the good and inherent baseline is that we know that there is no survival of the single person in this life without the other. So that is what holds us together. Bad days are always there, right? And you have a very human tendency of taking out your frustration, your anger, your every episode of anguish on people who are close to you and people who only people who are close to you are either your siblings your partners or your parents and they're close to you because of largely you stay under the same roof or they love you and some cases both so yeah i mean in bad day in in days that i don't have good days i do give her grief and she does the same um she is massively Help and like maid ho gaya ya house help ho gaya, uh, negotiation on money. We sort of not agree on things and that is when we have arguments. Arguments bhi nahi hota, matab, thik hai, kuch bolungi, main thik hai, kabhi mat bolna and that's it. I remember we were having a conversation, uh, that time I think you had just kept a driver or something yeah. and there was some, yeah. some discussion going on his salary. And Haan. your mom was like, why do you have to keep the money? Why do you have to keep the money? And we didn't have to keep the driver, so I didn't understand the reference point where is it from? Like my mother will ask, just I still remember when I went and I bought a fridge and then I bought another fridge. My mother was like, how much did I buy? I bought 80,000 dollars. Raju, I bought a fridge for my wedding, 150 dollars. I said, what? What is the logic of this? And the fridge was like that, I swear, I could put a fridge in the fridge. I could put a fridge in the fridge. People would go and 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 go. और आपके घर में अगर ऐसी हालत है कि फ्रिज अंदर सामान चोरी हो सकता है, then you have a different life all together. मतलब लोग आगे मलाई निकाल के ले गए। मैं क्या? Like my mother will order full cream दूध, उसकी मलाई निकाल के हम घी निकालते हैं। आज भी। हाँ, और कभी आपने कच्चा दूध पी लिया और उबाला नहीं, या उबालने के बाद या आपने दही जमारे को लोटा हिला दिया। 
आप इस दही को ये दही अगर नहीं खाइए खट्टे हो गए कल कड़ी बना देंगे जबरदस्ती कड़ी बन रही हमारे यहाँ पे बिकॉज वी आर स्टिल इन दैट लाइफ अगर हम एक कटोरी दही फेंक देना हमारे घर में भूचाल आ जाए अगर हमने कभी फेंक दिया मतलब मेरी माँ का हमारे घर में दो कुत्ते हैं तो मेरी माँ ना ज्यादातर इन कुत्तों को खिला दो मैं ये मर जाएंगे खट्टी दही कुत्तों को तो खट्टी लगी कि उनके कौन से चीनी के ग्लैंड लगे हुए उनके मुंह में जैसे हमारे कुछ भी अगर जैसे कुछ खराब हो रहा है मेरी मम्मी ने उनको घे क्या टिंडे दे दिए थे क्योंकि वो खराब हो रहे थे कुत्तों को टिंडे कौन देता है फिर अगले दिन कुत्ते मेरे खांसते वाले कह रहे क्या है क्या बकवास है हम कुत्ते गले थोड़ी ना तुम क्या टिंडे टिंडे खिलाते रहते हो जब जब हम सुबह से भूखे बैठे हम कुछ भी खा लेंगे हमारे पैसे का रिलेशन वही ना इन चीज़ों में मेरी बहुत डिसएग्रीमेंट्स होते हैं जैसे ब्रेड पे लिखा गया है जैसे ब्रेड तीन दिन तक चलती है नौवे दिन बैठे हैं इसमें उर्ली थोड़ी ना लगी मैं उर्ली उर्ली क्या होता है वो ग्रीन ग्रीन फंगस ना <laughs> मैं ब्रेड को फंगस नहीं हम तब तक खाते रहते हैं वो आखिरी का पीस ना ऐसे फोल्ड कर करके ना ऐसे कोने में रखा हुआ साइड में कुछ भी चल रहा है हमारे घर में उन चीजों में हमारी बड़ी बहस होती है खाने को लेकर या जैसे अभी उनका मैसेज आया था तुम वुड यू ईट लंच एट होम और आउटसाइड ऐसा मम्मी जी प्लीज कॉल बट ड्राइव कर रहा था मैं मैसेज नहीं करना चाहता ड्राइव करते लाइक मैं ऐसे प्लीज कॉल हाँ तो तुम घर आके खाना खाओगे या वहीं खा के आगे मैं घर आके खाऊंगा वट डू वॉन्ट मैं ऐसे कुछ भी बना दो कल की दाल है थोड़े से चावल पड़े हुए हैं आलू बना दूँ मैं जब तीन में से दो चीज़ें पड़ी हुई हैं तो पूछ भी क्यों रहे वहाँ बनाना आपने वही है मैं जो मर्जी करूं अभी मैं घर जाऊंगा और चौथी चीज ही बनी हुई होगी क्योंकि पनीर के तीन पीस पड़े हुए थे तो मम्मी ने मटर डाल के पनीर भुर्जी बना दी उसकी अलग ही कुछ चल रहा है एंड मेंटली यू प्रिपेयर कि दाल चावल खाने हैं आप घर जाते ये क्या बना हुआ है ये और उससे भी ज्यादा पुराना है कुछ अलग ही हाँ मतलब <laughs> मतलब आई स्टिल रिमेम्बर मैं एक दिन कोल्ड कॉफी उठा के रख दी थी मतलब ज्यादा बन गई थी ना एक कप में ज्यादा बन गया आप मिक्सी बना रहे हो आपको अंदाज नहीं रहा तो दूसरे कप में ना इतनी सी होगी इतनी सी कोल्ड कॉफी का लॉजिक क्या होता है सबसे चोर प्रोडक्ट है दुनिया का ये जब आप जाते हैं कॉस्टा है स्टाबक्स में इतना बड़ा कोल्ड कॉफी लेते हो आप पंद्रह मिनट रख दो यहाँ से उठ के यहाँ जाती है बाकी झाग होता है राइट तो वो कोल्ड कॉफी भी इतना ज्यादा भरा हुआ था करते करते वो इतना हो गया वो चार दिन पड़ी रही तो एक दिन मैंने अपने कुक को बोला यार कोल्ड कॉफी दे दे मैं भैया कोई वाली निकाल के देते इसमें थोड़ा सा और दूध डाल दिया आई एम द सोल अर्निंग मेंबर ऑफ दिस हाउस चार दिन पुरानी कोल्ड कॉफी में दूध एड करके मिला जा रहा है मेरे को ऑवल उसका टेस्ट टट्टी था मैंने पी के देखा भाई ये क्या बकवास बनाई है माता जी मैं माता जी को क्या चाहिए मैं माता जी मैं क्या है ये तो मैं क्या जानने तुम मैं पैसों की नहीं पता राजू मेरी मम्मी ना जैसे मैं हैप्पी फिर भाग जाएगी शूटिंग कर रहा था हाँ। तो मेरे को बड़ा अच्छा लगता है मम्मी जैसे किसी एक्टर से बात करने आता है सोनाक्षी से या मुद्दा सर अजीज डायरेक्टर था मम्मी बात करिए अच्छा बेटा थैंक यू मेरे बेटे को अपॉर्चुनिटी दी फिर मुझसे बोलती तेरा रोल बड़ा कर सकते बीच मूवी में मैं आपको क्या लगता है कि क्या हो रहा है यहाँ पे हम बैठ के लिख रहे हैं स्टोरी रोज सुबह के हिसाब से आज कितने दिन करना है मैं मुझे नहीं हो सकता ऐसे बात करी हो डायरेक्टर से ऐसी कुछ इस बारे में नहीं बात करूंगी मैं ठीक है उसको बोले बेटा बहुत थैंक यू थैंक यू और राजू का रोल बड़ा कर सकते हो आप वो कह रहे हैं जी कह रहे तुम्हारी भी माँ होगी कह तो ऑब्वियसली उसकी माँ होगी उसको कौन सा चीज ने छोड़ा था इमोशनल ब्लैक मेल था इसलिए मैं बात नहीं कराता उनकी अब तुम इसका रोल बड़ा कर दो बीच मूवी में रोल बड़ा कर दो मतलब कोई लोकेशन नहीं कोई सेट नहीं कोई फ्रेम नहीं कोई स्टोरी नहीं स्क्रिप्ट नहीं स्क्रीन प्ले नहीं बीच में को मेरा नाम ऐड कर रहा है राजू हर जगह पे her food her clothing yes i want her to have the best best ever she has equal number of watches uh, she has a big ass tv she will get every comfort that i get every that's that's amazing shoes food uh, trips flights hotels yeah driving big cars yeah yeah she loves it jivesh you just talked about working in movies hmm. right uh, so now a days uh, the idea of a celebrity hmm. in my opinion is very different also hmm. जब हम बड़े हो रहे थे तो सेलिब्रिटीज वर ओनली ऑन द बिग स्क्रीन बट आज की डेट में बहुत सारे लोग हैं दे हैव मिलियंस ऑफ फॉलोअर्स ऑन यूट्यूब ऑन दर इंस्टाग्राम ऑन डिफरेंट सोशल मीडियाज एंड दे आर नो लेसर देन अ सेलिब्रिटी इंक्लूडिंग यू राइट ऑफ कोर्स यू आर यू हैव डन अ लॉट ऑफ मूवीज एंड यू डन अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क बट वॉट एम ट्राइंग टू आस्क यर इज दैट वेन यू हैव दैट बिग ऑफ एन आइडेंटिटी ऑफ योर ओन एंड यू आर समबडी हु इज अ स्टॉल वर्ट इन वॉट ही डज देन हाउ डिफिकल्ट और हाउ ईजी इट इज टू वर्क विद दीज 
these you know stereotypical celebrities who come from a movie background and do they have an air about them is it difficult for you being a being sort of a pioneer in your own space to crack an equation H- how is it so i think the onus lies on them i think they are very kind like i worked with ranveer singh alia bhat ranveer kapoor sonakshi deepika padukone imtiaz ali mudarsar mudarsar aziz arshad varsi uh, meher vij um, apar shakti jimmy shergill piyush mishra uh i think the onus is for them being so big that they welcome me not once have i felt that they ridiculed me um uh, and they've always been very nice welcoming and cordial i think the that only tells me how bigger are they as a person as compared to me being whatever i am i always go with humbled uh, mindset because of simple reason i don't know about the art form as much as these guys do so i'm always going there as a very novice and a very naive person so to say because obviously i'm not exposed to that bollywood aspect of it i stay in delhi you know gurgaon and i am not the bollywood typical like intrinsic part of it so i don't know much about it and good part is that they also love that fact that there is somebody who is not talking movies with them whenever we get time in between to talk like i still remember meher vij and i were shooting we between the shots we used to talk about nike cortez shoes now it's a very different thing to talk about mai aur arshad varsi uh, used to talk about uh, the coffee that he drinks and he used to love that hazelnut coffee that he used to have and he used to tell me amazon se mangaya pehle by the way we have this hazelnut only today hazelnut like hazelnut, yeah, hazelnut coffee hazelnut coffee yes. <laughs> so ha huh, so we used to talk about those things which was very refreshing for those guys also because not everybody sucking up to them at that point because these guys have so many yes people around them they i think is a refreshing aspect for them um and i think at the end of the day they are bigger people for welcoming anybody chai main hu chai koi aur hai and none of us for example just to answer the first part of your question the guys who have just shot up on on youtube and instagram or social influencers or comedians or whatever um we got fame very soon and very easily most of us don't know how to handle it we end up becoming very cocky very arrogant very bossy about it and that is the worst part you can do because you need the audience more than the audience needs you so if you ever you're cocky about it you're dead man you're a dead person so i don't know how to deal with it but i'm not so i'll still do my stuff i still remember a lot of people ask me are aap sabzi khareed rahe ho main to kya mere ghar mein kheet thodi na hai ugne ki thodi na ha khareed raha hu bhai kisi ko to khareedni hai nahi 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 aap kyun kyunki mere ko acha lagta hai um and that's how i am I never have differentiations between what I do personally. The only thing I've started doing is I've started dressing up properly because I'm absolutely, I mean, big hairy kids are going around all the time. Exhibit A. Yeah, this is still better. My wife, show today, huh? my wife way. has absolute no no. Ki boss, you can't look homeless whenever you get out because you can get a picture any time. I'm like, <laughs> like, can you not be this? This is not be this. Like, come say, I'm Tamil. See, I can wear the pants. So I said, okay. Does she also pick your uh, wardrobe? God no. no. What wardrobe? This shirt is denim. Jogging t-shirt. Five hundred rupees. Yeah, it's ten percent discount. But the side four hundred rupees. Pretty. Like I have twenty. Are they all different color? Or yeah, in this color, there will be three more. Jeans pant. Side four hundred rupees. Jute. My God. Five hundred rupees. Five hundred rupees. Palika Bazaar. Come on. Kuch bhi. Fact. Matlab. Kuch bhi. I don't buy that at all. Flying machine, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it yes. is as real as it does. Yeah. I will spend money on watches or uh-huh. phones or whatever. Clothing is not something I spend money on. I know. I think um uh, you know somewhere we uh, compartmentalize the spaces we are comfortable spending yeah. money in. And mere sath bhi aisa hai. Kahin pe to I'm just obnoxious. Yeah. I mean you can't even think of the kind yeah. of money I'll spend yeah. on those things. And yeah. certain things I'm like, you know, ye dusri website pe to 399 ka mil raha hai. Yahan pe 370 ka mil raha hai. So let me मैं जितनी शिद्दत से डील ढूंढता हूँ ना उतनी शिद्दत से अगर भगवान ढूंढ लो ना मुझे भगवान मिल जाए पहले आजियो और टाटा क्लिक लग्जरी और टाटा क्लिक पे तो मतलब मेरी उंगली ना मरते दम तक सेट रही हुई क्लिक करो फटाफट आ जाए मैं मैं यू नो जिवेश सोचती हूँ कि कभी मैं जिंदगी में इतने पैसे कमा कमा पाऊंगी की मुझे वो सेट लोएस्ट टू हाइएस्ट प्राइसिंग होता है ना कि लो टू हाई दिखाओ पैसे का अलग है हमारी माइंड सेट ही गरीब है पैसे का कोई लॉजिक नहीं है कोई लॉजिक नहीं है मतलब मैं जबरदस्ती एवरी टाइम आई एम सेलेक्टिंग एन आइटम माय दिस थिंग गोस विद 
cost lowest to highest that hmm. is how i like to say it is. not in the order of Never. relevance not Never. in the order of popularity Never. whatever Never. cost low and i will end up buying the highest wala only but i will see like 600 Haan. options correct it's same. just insane same same how much time we end main up wasting on this main bahut hi khali hu bahut hi khali matlab main to aisa nahi main main ab kafi apni energy conserve karne ki taraf move kar rahi hu dheere dheere hmm. but yeah it's a process i mean yeah. it's a lot of mental yeah. work yeah. to sort of you know be okay with it that you can spend yeah. it's okay yeah. Yeah. you can spend without window shopping for but when you call it enough right i mean that is the point when you call it enough this is enough yeah i don't think so we know i at least don't know where to draw that line so yeah. i don't yeah so you keep on yeah doing whatever i do abhi uh, meri life ka sabse bada uh, you know struggle kya hai at this point hmm. in the google pay earlier aaj se 6 8 10 mahine pehle hmm. even if i used to pay 150 rupees to some vendor or something hmm. i used to get like a cash back of 200 hmm. or 300 rupees or 200 rupees mein 200 rupees cash back ye kaisa scheme hai kuch to tha what the hell ye to bahut sahi hai aur 300 rupees ka off on some brand ka some products and things ah. like that and now even if i'm paying like 7 and a half thousand rupees there's no cash back yeah there's nothing they've stopped giving me scratch cards and i'm like what is this my only joy of making payments via these mediums just suck mere to scratch card pe aata hai better luck next time ko fir email aati hai amazon se main ye wala scratch card tha main bar bhoot nahi ke iska kya karna hai maine नहीं मुझे तो बड़ा मुझे बड़े चीप थ्रिल्स होते हैं ऐसे टू स्क्रैच दैट कार्ड एंड सी दस रुपए मिल गए वो भी ऑनलाइन ऐसे ऐसे करके स्क्रैच कर रहे थे हां हां आई नो इट्स इट्स सो मच फन राइट जस्ट सक द जॉय आउट ऑफ इट पेटीएम मैं तो पेटीएम पे लगा रहता हूं 10 पॉइंट 10 रुपए कमाने के लिए 1100 पॉइंट जाते हैं ओए होए होए कितना मजा आता है उन पॉइंट्स को रिडीम करने में ना दिस दिस आई हैव अर्न आई मीन आई टोटली गेट दोस काफी गरीब कॉन्वर्सेशन है ये काफी गरीब कॉन्वर्सेशन काफी गरीब कॉन्वर्सेशन दिस इज अ फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग सेशन फॉर ऑल ये बहुत ही गरीब सेशन है कितने गरीब हैं हम लोग अभी भी अपने माइंडसेट में देख रहे हैं उस कॉन्वर्सेशन के थ्रू बट या जीवेश यू नो यू हैव एक्सरसाइज्ड ऑन एंड यू हैव वर्क्ड ऑन सो मेनी ऑफ योर पैशंस लाइक स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी एट द पीक ऑफ योर करियर व्हेन यू वर मेकिंग सो मच मनी एज अ कॉर्पोरेट गाय you Correct. quit it all Correct. and you said okay aaj se main mera passion follow karega uh-huh. i'll do stand up comedy Correct. then you ventured into acting script writing Correct. multiple things that you've explored Correct. so in this whole journey of you know um, exploring your passions and Correct. your different interests etc <clears throat> have you been able to find the purpose for jiveshu like why does he do what he does because i think a lot of people confuse their passion with their purpose Hmm. and they start calling their passion as their purpose you Correct. know mera ye passion hai main karna chahta hu yahi mera purpose hai hmm. but in my opinion i think purpose is something very different from what your passion is Probably. so are you able to create that for yourself I don't think are you so. able to identify no, that for yourself no, no. or are you in still some quest i think i'm still quest yeah i think this quest will always be there i think purpose is much bigger than the passion passion may be a lead towards the purpose i think purpose is the end and passion will be a means to an end but is not that so is comedy the purpose of my life no I think the purpose on life is much bigger than any art form. The purpose in my life will be providing a shelter where animals are not hurt, or a shelter for old age people whose kids are not able to take care of the parents, or free education, or I don't know. Like purpose is certainly not to. Um, confused with passion because passion is not towards it may lead towards it it may not it certainly hasn't for me so far uh do i question what is my purpose in life every now and then but am i able to answer it no no i have no idea what my purpose is maybe my purpose is something that i will discover later do you get some existential crisis questions like you know i have to find my purpose no. or no no i never get ex- existential crisis questions because my mind is so occupied it doesn't even leave an inch of space for that question to creep in and give me crisis part it doesn't and uh, you also spoke about your pets yes. two beautiful cute dogs you have Got milo it. and shadow yes right they are they are just so awfully cute useless is the word come on they are just so ridiculously cute yeah. and i think they uh, you know uh, add so much to your life yeah they do Yeah they do. So they tell give... us something about your relationship with your pets and generally with animals. Are you an animal lover? So yeah, so I think there's a difference between dog lover and animal lover. Correct. I think I'm an animal lover. I will I've gotten into physical arguments getting off a car when somebody tried to run over a pig, like a stray pig. Um I hate people when they are 
अब्यूजिंग एन एनिमल चाहे वो घोड़ा हो गाय बैल सुअर बिल्ली कुत्ता वट एवर बिकॉज आई थिंक जो बेजुबान जानवर है आप अगर उसके साथ ऐसा व्यवहार कर रहे हो तो आपसे घटिया और गिरा हुआ इंसान कोई नहीं है एंड सो आई लूज माई शेट ओवर दिस हाउ इज माई रिलेशनशिप विद माई डॉग्स आई थिंक आई बिन वेरी ब्लेस्ड टू हैव बोथ ऑफ दैम आई अडॉप्टेड माई लो नाइन ईयर्स देखो आई एड गॉन्ट टू अ फ्रेंड्स प्लेस एक्चुअली अ फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड एंड दे सेट दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू कीप इट समबडी हेड द ब्रदर लॉ समबडी हेड गिफ्टेड टू दैम एंड दे वर नॉट रेडी फॉर कीपिंग द डॉग सो आई गॉट हिम होम शैडो आई गॉट अ कपल ऑफ ईयर्स अगो बिकॉज आई थिंक दे वॉज अ एड ऑन फेसबुक स्टेटिंग दैट वी आर नॉट एबल टू टेक केयर ऑफ द डॉग इज बिन टाइड अप एट टू टेन और ट्वेल्व आवर्स अ डे एट इन साइड द हाउस आई डोंट थिंक सो एनी डॉग डिजर्व दैट सो आई गॉट एम होम एंड देन ही वॉज डायग्नोज विद कैंसर सो इज स्टिल विद मी आई थिंक डॉग द डॉक्टर सेट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू थ्रो एम आउट बिकॉज बिकॉज ही विल डाई एंड ही कैन डाई ऑन द रोड एज एफ आई लीव अ डॉग बिकॉज ही हैज कैंसर एंड लेट हिम डाई ऑन इज ओन विदाउट अ प्रॉपर ट्रीटमेंट दैन आई एम पॉसिबली द वर्स्ट ह्यूमन बींग ऑन अर्थ सो नो He still with me and makes me regret adopting him every single day. By sab zindagi narak kar ke dono ne, but it is what it is. So yeah, I love both of them to death. Love both of them. Yeah. I know they they're awfully cute. Like I said, <laughs> so cute. if huh. if Milo and Shadow could speak, huh. what do you think would be their first question or first sentence to you? Stop calling us with weird names. I call them anything. लाइक like, मैं कुछ भी मुंह से बोलता रहता मेरी झिंगड़ू मेरी फुंगड़ी मेरी गिंगड़ू कुछ भी बोलता रहा एंड मैं डॉज लाइक व्हाट द हेल इज ही टॉकिंग वन आई थिंक द फर्स्ट थिंग आई एवल से इज लाइक कैन वी स्लीप ऑन द सेम बेड व्हाट इज द पॉइंट ऑफ गिविंग अस बेड जब हम सोते ही नहीं उस पर एंड लेट अस पी एनी लाइक घर में कहीं भी हम सोसू करते हैं मतलब कई बार तो मुझे ना ऐसे मेरे मेरे कुत्ते इतने इतने कुत्ते हैं ना कि घर में जब शांति होती है तब मुझे डर लगता है कि साले कुछ तो कर रहे होंगे कुछ फाड़ रहे होंगे एक दिन मैं घर में घुसा तो मेरे एक कुत्ता ना अपने बेड की सारी रूई निकाल रहा था दूसरा उसको हर रूम में रख के आ रहा था <laughs> like a strategic planning. हाँ, मैं क्या चल रहा है एंड देन आई लुक डेट हम दोनों उसके एक में रूई है मैं ये क्या कर रहा है लुक सेट मी व्हाट मैं तो था भी नहीं यहाँ पे मैं तेरे मुंह के अंदर रूई है साले एंड एवरी एंड आई थिंक आई थिंक देवर टेल मी लॉड ऑफ स्टफ कि हमें इतना खाना मिलता ही नहीं कभी पूरा खाना मिला ही नहीं उन्हें अभी आज सुबह खाना खाया मेरी मम्मी चाय पी रही थी एंड तीन सेकंड में वो मम्मी के चाय के वो टेबल के आगे बैठे हुए हैं कि क्या पता कोई बिस्किट गिर जाए इटर्नल ऑप्टिमिस्टिक योर मदर बीइंग मदर तो कोई गिरेगा ही नहीं अरे मेरी माँ तो ऐसे ना ऐसे छोटे छोटे ऐसे छोटे मेरी मम्मी ने इतने इतने से देती उन्हें ये लो छुट छुट एंड मैं वो कह रहा है क्या है ये वॉट इज दिस ये क्या है इतना इतना कौन देता है बट माई मदर लव दैम आई थिंक योर पेरेंट्स यूजली हु एनकरेज यू नॉट टू है डॉग और डॉग्स और पेट्स वंस यू गेट दैम दे आर द प्रॉब्लम द मोस्ट लविंग पीपल टू दैम बिकॉज दे स्पेंड मोस्ट टाइम विद दैम Absolutely, yeah. and they end up not just taking care of them, but for do, but doing everything for yeah. them, you know, possibly. Yeah. And then that no, no, my mother doesn't do goes. everything for them. I do it. वो तो सवाल ही पैदा करता है. Really? My mother like ये कर दिया टट्टी कर दी ना टट्टी. मैं सुबह सुबह कौन बोलता है ये? And वो खाते हुए बोलती है. जैसे मैं खाना खा रहा हूँ, तो वो बालों में माइलों टट्टी करती है. मैं मम्मी जी क्या कर रहे हो यार? मम्मी. You call her mummy What are you talking about, जी मम्मी जी From the बचपन it's like that. Yeah, yeah, जी मम्मी जी आप एंड जी मम्मी जी ऑलवेज जी मम्मी जी हाउ क्यूट इज दैट ऑलवेज देर इज नो मतलब अगर गाली बढ़ेगी मम्मी जी आपने बदतमीजी से बात मत करो जी मम्मी जी लाइक गुस्से में भी जी मम्मी जी मम्मी जी निकल हाँ जी के सवाल ही पैदा नहीं होता उसकी मैंने बात होता है जी मम्मी जी एंड या आई लाइक एवरी टाइम आई लिव एवरी टाइम आई गेट अबाई टचर फीट एवरी टाइम आई लिव माई हाउस आई टच अ फीट ऑल दाइम चाहे लड़ाई हो ना लड़ाई होते हैं ऐसे छू गए मैं नहीं जा रहा हूँ जुनर है How cute is Good that? Luck. I think Haan. that's the cutest yeah, fighting mother and son. Yeah. So Do as I said, we fight. We fight on things which are I think are important. She thinks are important. They may not be important for both of us, but they're important individually to us. So we may not agree on that. But then we don't fight like किसी को जान से मरना वाला fight नहीं होता. हर किसी घर में इतनी argument तो चलती है. So yeah. Yeah, जी मम्मी जी. Uh, so Jivesh, at this point hmm. uh, in your career, hmm. do you have any uh, professional insecurities with you know social media exploding so much, yeah. so many new comedians yeah. coming out? How do you see competition? Oh, I hate you... all of them. <laughs> I hope they all die. <laughs> I hate all of them. Okay, we said that we're going to make a room for honest conversations. No, no, because please, why please would I like competition? <laughs> But I, why would I want competition to be there? So I hate anyone who can think of a joke that I couldn't think of. 
आई हेट एनी वन हु इज मोर सक्सेसफुल देन आई एम I hate anyone who is earning more than I am. But do I wish ill for them? No. Do I wish ill to them? No. Would I do something bad to them? No. That jealousy makes me want to do more. So it is not a competitive thing. It's just jealousy. कि अगर for example आप मेरे एक comic को fellow comic और आप अगर Mercedes चला रहे हो तो मुझे Mustang लेनी है. अब Mustang लेने के लिए मैं drugs बेचना नहीं शुरू करूँगा. <clears throat> But I'll start working harder. So that thing makes me jealousy works for me. it works for you it does work for me uh-huh. so would i do i appreciate all of them no but i also appreciate how other people are also opening up avenues for us uh, there are a lot of comics have done us tour europe tours australia tours uh, middle east tours gcc country tours east uh, you know southeast asia tours so every time a hindi comic goes or english comic goes or any indian comic goes they open up avenues for all of us so i'm very thankful to them also in that case but do i love and kiss them god no i hate all of them yeah right <laughs> <laughs> So in your career of close to ten years, or yeah. maybe even over ten years that, now. Yeah. ten years, right? So uh, how do you see the space changing, and is it more inclusive now? Do people understand and accept comedy as an art form now much more? And um, how is it playing out financially? I mean, do you think because of so much of competition, there's less opportunity for individual growth in terms of money? So I think uh, the credit goes to people like Johnny Liver and. Comedy nights with couple. You can diss and as much as you want to hate them and disrespect them, but there are times when you have to explain it to people. That I am doing what the couple does. Uh, is the opportunity enough for a lot of people? Yes. India is a massive market. 140 crore people. Hai. We have enough market for everyone. Is it financially stable? Yes, it is. Uh, is there enough work for everyone? Yes, there is. If you are good at what you do, um, ju- you can't be selling a product because there was a lack of product. It's like selling shitty food because there were no restaurant around, but that shouldn't push you from providing bad food. I mean, that should push you to provide better food. If there is a competition, uh, if you serve pizza, for example, if there is a Domino's that opens next to you, just be better than Domino's. Then people will still come to you. Is it a financially viable situation in terms of other competitions? The competitions will come, and they will hit you financially. But at the same time, you have to start evolving and start being better at what you do. And as you keep doing it, and you're good at what you do. there's no dearth of money on this but to just chuck everything a lot of people reach out to us ki main 18 saal ka hu main koi padhai nahi karna chahta main koi career nahi karna chahta main kal se comic banna chahta hu i said nahi aap famous banna chahte ho there's a big difference ask a question why do you want to be a comic the, the answer should be for the love of it simple the for the love of art form if there is any other answer for doing it then you're in the wrong business you want to be famous you want to be rich you want to be famous you want to be successful then be honest about it then do things which will make you famous dinchak puja is also famous i you can't diss her she did what you couldn't think of deepak kalal is famous he did things that you can't think of so you can't be jealous of those guys but do you got to be accept, they at least accept the reality you can diss rakhi samad as, as, as much as you want to but she does things that you don't think you don't want to so yeah I want people to study, make a career, start doing this on the side, and if this gives you fifty percent of whatever you're earning as a salary, quit. Switch to a profession, switch hobby as a profession. Before that, don't do it. So, Jiveshu, when you're accused of something, hmm. what is your first reaction? Hmm. Do you take offense hmm. or do you get into defensive mode? Hmm. Hmm. What is it for you? I think it depends upon who has accused me of anything. Um, it is not offense or defense, either of those actually. If there are people who I love. and if accuse me something for example my family or my friends who i love dearly um it is more to do with explanation ki nahi aisa nahi tha and i used to do that for the longest time but then i realized that people will form an opinion in respect of what you say uh because that's the idea behind starting of that so for example um if somebody says that you know jiveshu hum jab bhi phone karte hain wo phone nahi uthata hai ya fir hum jab bhi bulate hain wo aata nahi hai ya aata hai to nakhre karta hai तो मैं ये बोलूँ कि अगर नहीं उस दिन घर पे कोई बीमार था या फिर आ, कोई काम आ गया था दे विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट इट एज अ रीजन बिकॉज दे डोंट वॉन्ट टू एंड आई ऑलवेज सेट दिस टू एवरीबडी दैट माई वर्क कम्स फर्स्ट शादी यू नो मैरिज एंड दिस सॉरी शादी बर्थडेज पार्टीज दिस गेट टूगेदर्स यू नो इवनिंग यू नो सॉर्ट ऑफ मीटअप्स ऑल कम सेकेंडरी सो लॉट ऑफ पीपल आस मी लाइक अरे जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर को क्या कर रहा है सो आई टेन दिन मैं अभी कुछ नहीं कर रहा अगर उस दिन शो आ गया तो मैं आपके यहाँ नहीं आ पाऊंग
and i think that doesn't fly a, with a lot of people the good part is that i'm brutally honest about a lot of stuff which i shouldn't be um and that doesn't fly with a lot of people so to answer is it offense or defense none actually it is more to do with explanation and i do explain myself a lot more than i would want to in terms of people who i love dearly other than that i i just wouldn't care i just wouldn't care like abhi do din din pehle wo shamshera ka jo promotion dala tha to had clicked the picture with sanjay dat and ranveer kapoor and i knew the moment i put the picture of people right ki do githa hai chhota hai now i took that arsenal off by putting it two and a half men now when i take the arsenal off you you can't say anything bad they're already acknowledged i've already acknowledged that so usme bhi koi na koi hoga are ye tu kitna chhota reh gaya tu kitna githa reh gaya tu kitna ho gaya do i take offense to that random no i don't but if my mother tells me ki i was rude to her i will explain i will never go on offense or defense if my friends tell me the one i love dearly the ones i love dearly i will try to explain my standing or situation over it and hopefully and praying and aiming at that it'll get resolved and they will see my point or maybe i'll see their point and i apologize i apologize a lot a lot uh, i'll say sorry at places or and to people that i don't think or situations don't warrant it but i do um so to answer that question probably explaining a lot where it is not even needed i just do that for no reason because i think i'm very insecure of losing people as well at times so yeah when you have like a handful of people only yeah. in your life and you yeah. have nurtured those relationships through yeah. years but we do have emotions. all of us have that handful of people Chad. correct मेरे आज तक किसी को नहीं जैसे दस हजार दोस्त हैं वो दोस्त नहीं है फिर अगर होते भी हैं तो आई डोंट थिंक हर किसी के साथ यू कैन मेक दैट डेप्थ ऑफ रिलेशनशिप एंड यू कैन रियली बी एज इन्वॉल्व और देम बी एज इन्वॉल्व इन योर लाइफ यू कुड नो ऑफ कोर्स अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल बट आई डोंट थिंक एवरीबडी यू नो इज योर फ्रेंड ट्रू राइट सो आई थिंक इन दैट स्पेस वी ऑल एट you know some place feel this only that yeah. we don't want to lose those people yeah, yeah. that we love yeah. so but yeah also but then people who love you dearly they also don't accuse you accuse you they will say like in a flying they are hum to usko bulate rehte aata nahi hai bada aadmi ho gaya hai this and that and i say the same things about to others right so it is not largely an accusation also it is just a friendly banter or you know and relatives saying whatever i mean har kisi ke relative kuch na kuch to alag tarike se kuch na kuch bolenge you can't take offense over it i think the people who love you they understand that you are not coming from an intentional place maybe of yeah, that is why <clears throat> that's what i'm saying <clears throat> that is why probably it is not an accusation accusation is not the right word for it maybe it is just their concern maybe it's just something they just think out loud ki yaar unko ye bother kar raha hai that's it no it's see it's one thing that you are hurt and yeah. it's the other thing to know that other person is intentionally hurt you so But, i think when you have a clear sense of that um, yeah. there's very less room true. for any sort of um, uh, inappropriate true, true. accusations to happen true, there true true mm-hmm. so yeah. so jiveshu now you have a bottle uh, of water in your hand <laughs> 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 we're not going there huh? <laughs> okay fine we're not going uh-huh. there uh-huh. but tell us one secretive talent of yours that nobody knows of that i like to sing songs when i'm driving and the worst part is i i am absolutely tone deaf matlab main itna ghatiya singer hu main itna ghatiya singer hu ki matlab gaadi ke andar agar mere system ke andar agar haath hote to apne kaan pe rakh leta wo i think we have that in common that is one <laughs> and i have no idea what the lyrics are i will just say anything like ain't no sunshine chal raha tha main ain't no sunshine chal raha bas aur ek gande tarike se ga raha tha but i love it i enjoy every bit of it so anybody who's in the car with me they're like Oh God! Please let us take an Uber. Like stop this torture. That is one thing that I do, which not many people know. That I like to sing in the car when I'm driving, and I enjoy the music. But I'm possibly the worst singer in terms of tonality. So rock tal do, chodi do, and lyrics. But the words be nia kare ko. You can't be uh, worse than me. I am equally bad. Have you But, have you heard my voice? <laughs> I have. It is such I a heavy have... voice. I can't. And I smoke. Like, ha, 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 
people you will get away with it you will get away with murder man oh, come on kya hag raha hai gale ke andar kya bakwas chal rahi hai aadam lag jayega usme so i don't want to do that kuch bhi matlab i'm telling you <laughs> okay tell me one of uh, the most embarrassing thing that you have done in a public place oh i keep doing one thing in a public place most of the times that i don't is my fly open dude i you have no idea how many times do i check my fly is unbe- i have walked through malls Wow. With my fly open, like just zip Has open. Has a hai. girl ever come to you and said? No, no, no. किसी ने बोला नहीं. मुझे खुद ही realize होता है. जैसे when I hit the restroom or I'm like मैं try room में घुसा एक t-shirt के लिए मैं जैसे jeans खोली. मैं what? ये खुला हो तो तब से. मैं what? But the good part is I always have my shirt out or t-shirt out, so it is not visible. Or I'm wearing a kurta. And you know what's worse than that? हाँ. Walking with your fly open, being a girl and a guy following you literally for half a kilometer, and you thinking that he is a creep, and then he comes and tells you that, "Dude, your fly is open." Yeah, so then and we all could see you, you talk the story. Open. I yeah. mean, it's it's insane. So that for has me, happened that to is, me that in is a blue happened. line bus. I have done it so many times. I still remember. I was wearing a dress one day, and I walked into my mother, and I was talking about something. My mother said, "Raju, the zip is still open again." Man, shit. और उन्होंने जैसे एक दिन पहले ही बोला था राजू फिर से जिप खुली हुई मैं अगले दिन कैसे हो सकता है आई जस्ट कीप फॉरगेटिंग आई डोंट नो हाउ नो बट आई थिंक दिस इज दिस इज अ क्लासिक मेन प्रॉब्लम आई आई डोंट आई थिंक आई एम वेरी एब्सेंट माइंड आई हैव अ हैबिट ऑफ फॉरगेटिंग मैसिव स्टफ लाइक आई विल कॉल यू फॉर समथिंग एंड व्हेन यू से हेलो मैं आई फॉरगॉट आई लाइक टोटली टोटली ब्लैंक्ड आउट आई फॉरगेट अ लॉट आई थिंक आई एम आई डोंट नो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग Do you think you're becoming forgetful with the age? Yes. Because I yes. think that is something that's happening with me. Yeah, yeah. I am and um, and I keep googling what are the reasons. Uh cigarette is one of them. Uh diet coke, so I've stopped having too much diet coke. What about cigarettes? cigarettes. Let's talk about that because So yeah. I think I mean, that's the conversation we are having for the longest and you've yeah. always want to quit. Yes. And I think we are talking for some 5 6 years yes. or even more that yeah. I want to quit, I want yeah. to quit. And yeah. I think you've recently went to see I a want, yeah. so the I, addiction doctor also yeah, yeah. you went so all want, fancy about it exactly so know. i want to do i still want to quit i think uh, a lot of people when they say ki why do they smoke and they come up with the stupid excuse ki mujhe stress hai aur pressure tha aur tension mein tha you know funny cheez kya hai jivesh makes no sense kabhi bhi koi bhi na cigarette ke taste ya us cheez ke bare mein baat nahi karta why uh, they like it like, correct When you like the shirt, you like it because it's of this color. It makes you feel the fabric, the, fa- the design. You know, the design. it's of this design. Yeah, yeah. The, how the fabric feels on correct, your body. Correct. Correct. But when you talk about smoking, you always relate it to something in your life. Because it's an excuse. It's it bizarre. is always an excuse. Because every smoker knows it's a bad thing, and uh, so do I. And uh, and I've always said that this means that sick religion, where where cigarettes can't be smoked, they don't have any tension. A uh, lot of women don't smoke, so our mothers, our sisters, our wives don't have any tension. It happens. The only reason you smoke is weak willpower. and that's the only reason that is there and that is why you don't can't quit it so for me i'm wanting to quit it is as that i don't want to collapse again uh, have i tried quitting every smoker has tried quitting cigarettes um have i tried yes i have uh, the longest i've ever lasted is 6 months without a cigarette uh, but then the problem with cigarette is one puff and it is back it is one puff just one puff um so I thought of seeking professional help this time. कि किसी डी एडिक्शन डॉक्टर के पास जाके देखते हैं कि वॉट डू दे सो देव सजेस्टेड निकोटीन पैचेज निकोटीन गम्स देर आर मेडिसिन दैट यू कैन हैव विच विल सॉर्ट ऑफ कर्ब दैट यू नो दैट वॉन्ट दैट नीड दैट प्रेशर और दैट अर्ज टू हैव अ स्मोक एंड होपफुल इट वर्क लेट सी हाउ फार इट गोज हैव यू स्लो डाउन नो It's no. as bad as yeah, it it's, was. Yeah, I mean, I and I've always said that I've enjoyed cigarettes because it's something that I've always enjoyed. And everybody smoked in my family. So my nana, my nani, all my mosas, all my mamas, and so it has never been a taboo sort of a thing. So yeah, the only guy who doesn't smoke is my brother probably, and rest of the guys have also quit. It's just that I'm the one. ये परचम में आगे ले रहा था वो जा रहा हूँ उसको, which is. very bad but yeah i need to quit this is one thing i really need to quit yeah uh jivishu what's next for you what are you looking at what are you creating for yourself in let's say next 5 years i honestly don't know i don't know i i have started uh, realizing that comedy is a great thing it makes me feel alive and it wanted and needed and loved and affectionate and cared for uh the other things that i might find the same reasonings with and i might just find them later i don't know what it is now 
um next 5 years i honestly don't know i am not a guy who plans that far uh hopefully getting on stage and writing new jokes and providing laughter to people that is how basic i'll keep uh and do i have bigger plans like uh writing something or doing something no i don't i roll with the punches and i take it as it comes so not anything substantially creative on this for next 5 years probably a bigger house a bigger house yeah that will that's something me. constant yeah that's a yeah, a farm house yeah that's that's exactly what i want to retire. that's what you're working for now yes yes all right farm house um chivishu one more thing i want to yeah. ask you that you know you said comedy you will obviously continue being a mm. comedian um mm. uh, and it's your passion mm. but does passion also has a shelf life yeah. do you think that yeah. uh, passion can only take you so far in the terms of fulfillment mm -hmm. being fulfilled as a human being mm. and if yes then how do you fill that void if you have any in your life so i honestly don't think so passion has a shelf life um i think your want for that passion may have a shelf life your need for that passion may have a shelf life i don't think the passion in itself has a shelf life uh the shelf life comes into play when you become very complacent that you are i've i've arrived man kar liya bas mujhse badhiya koi nahi hai mujhse behtar koi nahi hai mujhse acha koi nahi i think that is the day you kill the creative part of it as long as you're creative as long as you're dynamic and as long as you're evolving i don't think so there is any shelf life for any passion for that matter um uh, but you want and need and desire to do it may have a shelf life right uh i've seen enough people who have for example bear grills the guy who does man versus wild he was in uh, british army and then he started doing man versus wild then he started doing celebrity episodes then he started doing something else i think that is one guy's true example of what he finds interesting and he keeps going for it uh, some people who are mountaineers they become like some people like trekking and then they end up becoming mountaineers or they want to do uh they want to start doing for example take other people for Uh, the same experience same experience so it's a constant evolvement does it have a passion shelf life maybe the the need for it may have a shelf life the passion or the art form or the creative side in itself will not have any shelf life none yeah i think to fuel your passion you need a certain kind of physical rigor some kind of mental and emotional energy also and going uh, with the years yeah. you tend to get a little exhausted i mean if you constantly don't keep yeah. reinventing yourself yes. and you don't yes. keep working on your physical correct. energy also correct correct because you could have a lot of passion for yeah. your comedy and you correct. could really write great scripts but correct. if you don't have the stamina to stand on stage or for an hour correct. an hour and a half True. and do a set correct sometimes you don't have air condition working Correct. in your favor and Correct. a lot of things you know Correct. that Correct. so the, that having that physical capacity and that mental and emotional capacity to take you through that journey also plays a very important part yeah but i think that's the exact i think you just answered it love for that art form is fuel enough for you to carry it through if you love something so madly and so badly that one hour one and a half hours that physical capacity that emotional bandwidth to go out and do it over and over and over again will always come keep coming to you without even wanting for it but if you don't love it bad enough then you'll find an excuse it's simple it's simple with weight loss simple with quitting any habit which is bad like alcohol drugs smoking um or even so much to so in a personal space keeping relationships alive forgiving people letting go of things you know it's i just the love of it how badly do you want it if you want it badly enough you'll find a way if you don't then you find an excuse i simple. think that's so so aptly put yeah um jivishu coming to our last question today yeah. here uh on a scale of just happiness mm. not in terms of your professional success mm. not in terms of the assets that you have accumulated mm. for yourself mm. not in terms of the business class Correct. high flying Correct. Uh, Correct. you know talent that you are but just as an individual when you sit at your home having mm. your glass of coffee mm. what is uh, your happiness quotient on a scale of let's say 0 to 10 0 being the least and mm. 10 being just the extremely happy and vibrant and just loving life in every form kind zero. of guy zero because i don't think so there is a quotient that you term between 0 to 10 it's like how honest are you between 0 to 10 and somebody says 8 no that's not true because you're either honest or you're dishonest uh, a woman is never slightly pregnant she's either pregnant or not pregnant uh, i'm zero because if i was happy i'll be 10 uh, that does that mean that i'm unhappy about it no i just want more i just want more from everything um so when i sit out have my coffee with a nice lawn and a nice jhula that i have and my dogs playing and rain dropping in just breeze is beautiful people dream of this life um am i happy no 
no i'm not uh, what would make you happy then no this thing is making me happy but am i happy when i say 0 to 10 this is i will consider this as a zero it may it was 10 maybe 10 years ago it is zero now my 10 is a little far now like matthew mcconey put right my 10 is a little higher so i'm zero right now and i would want 10 to be higher my 10 is from house and you're working for it i will work for it before i die i'm going to have it maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but i will do it you know i think jiveshu you say it in those many words and it may come come across as something um, like you being too um, hard on yourself yeah, yeah. are you being too greedy of yes i am know, accomplishing some dreams i am greedy massively i mean in those words maybe it sounds like that but i think from where you're approaching it Correct. from growing as an individual Correct. from growing as a talent from creating more uh valuable Correct. comedy out there mm. i think it's it's not a bad space to approach it from i'll just answer it and i know you have not asked me to um people who it may to sound it like to them for example greedy or whatever they don't give a shit if to what i do in life no matter what i do i'll never be enough and if i'm not hard on myself then the people will be on me so if i can't expect better things out of my own life if i can't love my life the way i want if i can't love myself the way i want to if i don't dress up the way i want to if i don't have shallow things phone watch shoes car house whatever bigger tv bigger car whatever it is like bigger bed then how do i expect somebody else to give that to me or do they even think that i deserve it because i don't myself think i deserve it right so i think i deserve it and i will work towards it so on my way i can be greedy the most selfish self centered self absorbed person but that all of that thing is sitting in a farmhouse <laughs> enjoying everything so i'm okay with it you know as they say that you know you anyway have to cry in life so yeah. crying in a mercedes is much yeah, better yeah. than crying on I a i thought it was bmw but think a mercedes yeah, yeah, whatever we'll it was i mean we'll whatever go with it was too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll roll with Mercedes because I think you have one. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So but so, yeah. So I like that, and I like that these shallow setups work wonderfully for me. Yeah. Wonderfully for me. And nice. I, like I mean, that. to each his own. Uh, we yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying it is right. You understand? Like, I'm not saying it is right. Jivesh, I think nothing is right or wrong. Nothing yeah. is absolute in this world. No, I think there are a lot of wrongs that I think there are wrongs. You can't murder a person. You can't kidnap a person. No, of course that. Of there course are certain that. wrongs that those I. Those are pure evil acts. Yeah, those are evil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, those but, are pure evil acts. Yeah, but, but but barring that, yeah. things like what we put in boxes on day yeah. on day life, Correct. like our relationship. This is the right way to be yeah, in a relationship. Yeah. That is not the right way. True, true. Or this is the right way to be a son. What works for you may not work for me. Yeah, may not work for you know. You should have a conversation or communication with your parents every day. For some people, it doesn't. work like that and they're yeah. just fine and they True. have a good relationship True. as well so i think the way we define people relationships careers etc there's no right or wrong yeah. way as True. long as you are conscious of the choices that you're making True. and as long as you're coming from a place of growth mm. as long as you're coming from a place of contribution yeah. i think it's it's all right if it works Correct. for you i agree so with that i think thank you so much jiveshu uh, for, for coming over and awesome. uh, thank you for being that friend who is just always one call away who i can always. just pick up the phone and say yes. you know let's talk about this yes. or that or just come to my podcast and yes. be my guest yes thank you for having thank me over so and thank much. you for being who you are total inspiration thank you jiveshu i love you i will always love you more <laughs> Hi this is Jiveshu please subscribe to Shobha's channel like share subscribe and i'm stripping so no you wish but subscribe to her channel watch all the episodes she's amazing and i love her so go like it